What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Channel G. Yeah. God, is this great! Hey friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible this new Spider-Man wave of Marvel Legends looks. Looks absolutely incredible. Give you a quick little glimpse of this amazing Demo Goblin that we're gonna build at the end of this video. So stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss any of these figures. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from and what you think of these action figures. Do you already own some of them? Cause man, is this set incredible. You're not gonna wanna miss a second of this toy review and unboxing. So. Guys, what do you say we get started? Right now. It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Mm. Super Channel G. All right, friends. Welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Look at this amazing new Spider-Man wave of Marvel Legends. This is the build a figure for Demo Goblin and looks absolutely outstanding. I just want to go over real quick who is in this set and then we'll get started with our unboxings. But take a look at this. So of course we have Velocity Suit Spider-Man. We have Spider Armor Mark III Spider-Man. Superior Octopus. Marvel's Vulture. Marvel's White Rabbit. And Shang-Chi. And of course these all come with Build-A-Figure pieces to get this amazing Demo Goblin, Demo Goblin. Um, he looks absolutely amazing, however you want to pronounce him. And look, he's even got this flame glider. Looks absolutely amazing. So just a quick glance as we set him aside and then see which ones we're going to do first. What do you think? They look absolutely amazing, outstanding. And so, man, look at this classic vulture. Marvel's White Rabbit and Shang-Chi of course so all right well you know what let's go ahead and just go in order as it says back over here right let's take one more closer look and right here in this first one we're gonna do it comes with a leg then this one comes with the other leg three comes with both arms four comes with the head five comes with the glider and six with the torso so let's take a closer look and let's get started what do you say so First of all, we're gonna dive in with this version of Spider-Man from the Gamerverse. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? This is Velocity Suit Spider-Man. And with Velocity Suit Spider-Man, look at this beautiful artwork on the side. Look at that suit. Man, it looks amazing. So it's the basically the same picture on both sides, but mirror image. And let's take a look at what the write-up says in the back. And here's a really cool pose. With, um, with the action figure, not just artwork, but a po uh, pose right here from the from the actual figure. So here it says, Velocity Suit Spider-Man. Peter Parker enhances his spider suit with speed boosting technology to become Velocity Suit Spider-Man. And man, does that look amazing. So let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right on in. And of course, let me not forget to say that these are made by Hasbro and can be found just about anywhere, especially Walmart and Target and GameStop. That's where I'm definitely finding these. This one I found at Walmart. Look at this beautiful spider symbol in there. Look at that. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that beautiful package. All right, let's get closer. Let's take a deeper dive into this. What do you say? And oh, look, I didn't realize there's like a little, uh, 
net of webbing right here. Here is one of the legs for our demo goblin. Looks really cool. Look at that. Woo, it's got a lot of pe uh, parts of articulation. So set that aside. And I'll uh, this is Spider Man. Let's take him on out. Okay, and sorry about that. I just hit our camera on accident. But I wanted to show you. Check this out. So, a quick picture if you're not familiar. This is, of course, the Spider Man video game from PS4. Here's the Velocity Suit in action. It's from pre order bonus from the Spidey Suit pack, right? And look how incredible that looks. And of course, there were two other suits. We have the Iron Spider and we have Spider Punk. And don't those look absolutely amazing? Sorry, I'm drifting off here. <laughs> but that's awesome just to show you that bad boy in action. All right. So let's, uh, let's see what his suit looks like up close. It looks absolutely outstanding. Look at this awesome head sculpt. I'm going to zoom in even closer. Look at that. And... Man, it looks very sleek. Let me push, see how far back we can, wow. Okay, you pinched my finger for a second there, but only because it was stuck. But okay, good, we have some pretty good head articulation with how far it goes back and how far it goes down. Look at that, let's see. Doesn't really tilt side to side, but it does turn very well, obviously. And then it will hit these parts, so this is what lifts it up a little bit. Just throwing that out there, and look, it looks pretty good all right so let's see how it goes with the arms the arms go completely all the way around here the shoulder with this little piece sticking out looks like okay good it still goes all the way out straight doesn't go any further back than that and just keep in mind he does not have that extra butterfly joint right here so his arms only go that far in and that far out so keep that in mind and look at this beautiful sculpt and these beautiful colors being used so he's got a you know a pretty good ab crunch it's slightly different than we've seen in the past. Not move similar, but slightly different mold there. And look at this sculpt again. Wow, a beautiful sculpt. Okay, let's see the biceps move on the high part of the uh, bicep right here. Um, we have double joints right here at the elbows. So they do end up coming in at almost a 45 degree angle. Let's see if I can get this higher part of the elbow to move. Nope. He just kind of got stuck there. But anyway, let's see. We don't have any accessories other than that little. Well, first, let me just address the fact that I'm not really getting this elbow to come in. And I'm going to have to apply pressure so that I don't pop the arm off. Okay. Ugh. This inside part of the forearm is not coming in. It's not wanting to work with me. And I definitely don't want to break this character. Keep in mind that you do need to apply pressure in this way so it doesn't crack off you will break a marvel legend if you if you push it too hard so keep that in mind okay so i'm not gonna force it and look at this hand of course we have web slinging hand action here it goes back and forth and around and then uh you can see how hard i was pressing right here and then oh this one's kind of stiff too there we just push it back and then it'll should loosen it up forward it spins around we have a fist right here. It looks super cool. And look at this beautiful paint right here. I love that baby blue with that like dark candy apple red. We do move at the waist. That looks great. It's a nice, you know, thick turn. Uh, we do have some pretty strong knee joints there. And these legs are just mirror images of each other. And let's see, we got a pretty good uh, hip joint. His legs go out pretty far. Now, as far as coming up, I wish they did come up higher, at least to a 90 degree angle, well, barely, so that we can have some really amazing Spider-Man poses. And it moves in the high part of the thigh. But his legs don't come that far in, so just throwing that out there. We do have really good uh, ankle joints that pivot and point and flex, but we don't really have that full-blown Spider-Man um, articulation that we've come to know and love from our Marvel Legends figures because he can only like ab crunch that far and not come like way further in 
So this action figure is definitely going to be less for um, making those really dynamic Spider-Man poses and more for, I guess, strong action fighting poses. So that's something to take note of. Let's see if, and then the joints are like super stiff. Let's see if we can bring this down over here. There we go. And so, how does that look? It's pretty good to me. Let's just see how we want this fist pointed. There we are. Look at this beautiful paint job that I mentioned before. Look, those two color, two tone, uh, different tone blues, and that red is just absolutely outstanding. I wish it was all as glossy looking as this looks, because it's not. This is a little flatter looking, but still, what a great action figure to add to our collection. So let's see if I can get him to stand up by pushing this leg a little further out. And that looks pretty outstanding. So let's set him up over here. And then, you know, I'm not real sure how to go about having this um, web netting if we're supposed to catch people with it. So maybe you can comment below if you know what it, how we're supposed to use it. Because, I mean, you can carry his laundry. Just kidding. <laughs> You can definitely catch people with it. So, uh, in any event, that's what we'll use it for for now until you guys can let me know exactly how we're supposed to use it. So, let me set them aside over here. Okay, and here we go. Look how cool that looks. So, we'll set them up right on over here. How does that look? Am I out of focus? Sorry about that. There we go. I think it looks pretty cool. Look at that. So let's take a quick picture. And let's move on to our next action figure in this set. Put this right here next to him. What do you say? Well, it's kind of blocking stuff. Put it over here. <laughs> All right, let's move on. So next we have Another Spider-Man, and this looks absolutely amazing. I don't know why I'm going out of focus. There we are. And this one, of course, is Spider-Armor Mark III. And there's a similar head sculpt, but not the same. We do have that soft baby blue, like Robin's Egg blue. But definitely a different looking suit here. And um, yeah, let's get this bad boy open. Look at this beautiful artwork on the side. These two just have unbelievable artwork on them. Again, game reverse, Demo Goblin, build a figure, and look at how cool he looks in the back. Looks like it's going to be a very similar sculpt with some other um, pieces here, but it's, let's read what it says in the back. This is a beautiful action shot. So it says, Spider Armor Mark III. Peter Parker upgrades his spider suit with advanced technology known as Spider Armor Mark III. Wow, let's get him up. And then, forgive me if I have to sneeze in a minute. <laughs> Been holding it back. Again, look at this beautiful spider emblem right here. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And here's the other leg for our Demo Goblin. Look at that. So we have both. And then we have this little, little web piece right here, right? Cool. And he also has no accessories beyond that. So that part is a little disappointing because I'm gonna be honest, I want as many uh, accessories of my Marvel Legends as possible because Number one, I love Marvel Legends. Number two, I love accessories because they make us want to come back and just see uh, play with these guys more and more, right? Set them up with different poses, different uh, action shots and so on. So, man, this looks cool. And look at this awesome texture here. 
So look at this really amazing head sculpt. Let's see if we can put his head that far back. Head comes that far forward. And does tilt slightly. Of course, turns really well. And we have very similar ab crunch. This one does seem to come a little further forward and back. Let's see. The arms come about that much out, but then this shoulder piece kind of restricts it. So just making sure you're aware of that. We have this right here, which on his uh, suit right here is gonna restrict some of his movement, just so you're aware of that. Okay. And let's see. Ooh, that's why I was doing that. I was like, what in the world? Cause it's getting caught under there, you see that? So forward we're good, but it's the backwards part that we're having trouble with. He moves pretty well at the waist. Let's see, is this loose? Is it attached anywhere? It is attached in the back, so it's not just fully loose. And the arms do go around all the way. Let's see, they turn on the high part of the bicep. And these elbow joints move a lot smoother than the other one. And let's see, we move back and forth at the wrist. Look at these gloves. I'm really digging that sculpt. And the, um, again, we have this one hand that's shooting web and look how amazing the sculpt is. Look at that. Look at it compared to my, the, my pinky nail. <laughs> it's small, but of course, accurate size to Marvel Legends. I'm just saying, look at the amazing detail. And then the double joints here at the elbow so we can get almost a 45 degree angle. Look at this spider emblem just incredible I like how this almost looks like a spinal cord column and let's see if we can get the legs any different than our other figure we do have really strong knees and then this one look the leg does come higher and better articulation than the other one right off the bat um, and smoother movement got some great mobility here at the high part of the thigh look at the awesome sculpt and texture and this leg does the same thing basically Bend this right here at the knee. And then look at these uh, parts right covering his ankle guards right here, right? And he has some really um, good articulation with the point and flex and the and the movement on the on the ankle. So that looks great. And I just can't say enough about how awesome this action figure looks. Doesn't that look amazing? With the blue. Digging the colors. So, let's just get him with a strong action pose. And if we decide later, we can change it up. But yeah, we definitely want him on the offensive. There we are. Look at that. Looks wonderful. All right, let's set him up with the other Spider-Man. Oh, and you know what? He's gonna shoot this onto someone, so I guess he really doesn't need it on his arm. But let's take a look. Okay, and before before we do that, check out this incredible um, video showing this suit in action from the video game. Look at this. I'll just show you a few more seconds, then we'll move on. But in case you haven't seen this amazing suit looks absolutely incredible. Doesn't that look awesome? It'd be cool if we could do this pose with our action figure, but unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to because those legs, you know, obviously they move really hot um, close to the body. So, all right. We're gonna have a really cool stance right here and we'll move this back over here and set him up next to our other Spider-Man. So there we are. Look how cool that looks. Again, let's get close to see how incredible these two Spider-Man look. Isn't that awesome? So, all right, let's go ahead and move on. Let's move on to our next action figure. What do you say? And let's move this over here. This over here. Okay. Next we have Spider-Man Superior Octopus. Now, we already did a solo review of this guy. He's absolutely incredible. 
and such a wonderful action figure. But let's do them right now for the whole set Build-A-Figure's sake and that we will actually be able to use um, the Build-A-Figure pieces. Look at this beautiful artwork on both sides. That'd be cool if this green matched this instead of, you know, this color. But, um, cause I'm really digging that green, almost like a Super Channel G green, look at that. Look at this beautiful artwork on the back of just an action pose. And let's read what it says back here for Superior Octopus. It says, Otto Octavius suits up in a high-tech spider suit to protect the city as a superior octopus. And isn't that cool? Looks absolutely amazing. High-tech spider suit, but yet still an octopus. Pull him on up. And okay, we have double layers right here. And let's get our arms for our Demo Goblin out. Look how cool those look. The scales right there, right? And the hands are not complete mirror images. This hand's open a little bit more than this one. And that really cool chain uh, around the wrist. And then look how cool this torn glove effect looks. Just set that aside. Let's get out. Superior octopus on out. Get a little backpack looking piece. And look how outstanding this is. We got some great mobility on the head. Really far back and forward look, and even tilts his head. Look at this head sculpt looks great. Look at this body sculpt, and I'm loving the fact that this one has the butterfly joints that are gonna bring the arms in a lot further in, a lot further out. Remember, you'll have to spin the shoulder to make sure you get the right mobility on there, right movement, I should say. Look at that. So great movement in the shoulders. Great movement in the high part of the bicep. And there's a nice solid feel on this build. The um, elbows are double jointed, but they only come into a little bit more than the 90 degree, 90 degree angle. Um, these parts of the wrist are, are loose. They're not, well, they're not uh, really like tight on there and they're not glued, so they do move. Just keep that in mind. Let's see, this Ugh, I'm not getting this wrist to move even though it's got a joint there, but it's probably just stuck. That's okay. Look at this beautiful sculpt right here. Look at that. Look at these gloves. Look at this one. Doesn't that look outstanding? Now look at this awesome symbol right here. And then this one has a very different ab crunch. Look at that. Because it's almost got like, for the female characters, except um, right here under the ribs, except of course it's wider broader I should say and we move right here at the, at the waist we have an outstanding sculpt and um, I like the gray the black and the green how it all goes together we're gonna put this it needs to be this way there we are and we'll put those um, octopus um, arms legs <laughs> in in just a moment okay we got some good mobility and the knee, the knee was nice and smooth, but yet still strong. Uh, the legs do come higher than, than the 90 degree angle to get some even better articulation. And then I like this stripe that's right here. And we have some good point and flex and pivot. And then we move right here at the high part of the shin and the high part of the thigh. This sculpt for the Spider-Man is outstanding. And let me just say, I don't typically like it to move here because it looks very unnatural. That doesn't move like that on anybody. But, um, you know, at least it's not loose. And let's get these um, pieces to complete our superior octopus. Let's push this all the way through. Oh, no. I didn't realize it was going to pop off. So, this looks like this. Looks cool. It does spin. Get all of these on out of here. I guess I could take off the, the little grabber part. Like, or maybe not. <laughs> the little claw it's a grabber part. We'll push that through. Set this aside. 
and let's see about getting the shorter arms on the bottom and let's see all we gotta do is pop this in here like that look how that looks let's see about putting this here mm, maybe not what about over here there we go how's that Okay, let's get this one down here. Look at that. How does that look? And then maybe we can put this bad boy right up here. So I think that looks pretty outstanding. And just so you know, these are not posable. There's no wire in there. So it'll appear to stay, but it'll go right back. So just keep that in mind. And maybe we can actually like you know, you can put him in a stand if you like, but maybe we'll save it for Vulture. We'll just have him, uh, again, standing nice and strong. And let's see. Let me get a good pose for this guy. Okay, what do you think about this? I think it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. I'm going to spin this up a little bit. We can have him Let's put him right here. Look at this. Check that out. Tell me that doesn't look incredible. Wow. Oops. <laughs> A little excited and knocked one of them over. So let's move him back this way. Here we go. I will fix him in a moment. But. I am so excited at how great these Spider-Man look. All right, so let's move on. I can't get over how great he looks. Okay, let's move on to our next figure. What do you say? Marvel's Vulture. Looks so great. Now, I will say this. It's grown on me because I was never a big fan of classic Vulture, especially not this big old you know, fur neck piece, and then how he just holds the those bird wings. And then he kind of looks like Mr. Burns, you know? And I don't know if this one's any better, but, you know, it's kind of grown on me after a while, but it does come with a headpiece of our Demo Goblin. And look at this art, again. I think I prefer Michael Keaton. Well, let's read the back from Marvel's Vulture. It says, Adrian Toomes uses a specialized flying suit to soar through the skies as the vulture. You know, there's no comparison on how great they made him look in Spider-Man Homecoming. But still, cool to have the comic book version, especially when you're collecting these the way that I am. The way that I am. Wow, cool. So we'll get that out in just a moment. Interesting, look at this. This headpiece is the Goblin. Got beautiful on detail. Then, let's take a closer look at the end of this video when we build our builder figure together. So Take a look at the other head sculpt. That way you can see what that looks like, because I'm probably not gonna switch them out. I think I like just the standard one better. Wow, I like this texture right here. That looks cool. I guess we could have this one, right? But we'll just leave them at this. Uh, that. Simpson, eh? Doesn't really bad. Put this back right in here. And let's pull these out to sculpt our, what, is there multiple pieces? What, am, oh, my bad, because this would go here, and this, I guess, would go here. 
Uh, excuse me. There's fine. This needs. I've been waiting to do forever. Okay, so this would go here. I can get that piece in. <laughs> All right. I'll get this in here. I'll get this in here. There we are. And there we are. I'm assuming that... Ooh, it popped right out. Let's try the other one. Put these together. Alright, now let's try this again. And this one... I couldn't tell if this was a white piece or not. But... Let's see. Interesting. So I was like, okay, let's compare it to this. Looks like that's that. And this would be like so. But, maybe I just have it on the wrong side. Because that looks like maybe it's supposed to be on this side. And that would be showing us this. Alright, let's try that. So let's try this as if it's maybe on the wrong side. How's that? Maybe this just goes like that. It definitely looks like it goes a lot better. And hasn't fallen out. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's pop this in here. This little slot right here. And it definitely clicked a lot better. And so this one here. Okay, so maybe that's it. Maybe I just had it wrong. Alright, let's take a closer look now. The head will go pretty far back, actually. Look at that. Pretty far forward. Definitely tilts and turns. Let's get an even closer look at his head sculpt. Interesting. Definitely looks like a vulture. <laughs> All right, ab crunch, decent forward, doesn't really move very far back. He does have these butterfly joints so that we can put really good arm articulation. Look at that, how far it comes in and pretty far out, obviously. Joints are a little stiffer, but imagine you have him as this uh, thin body sculpt, even thinner than Spider-Man. The legs, they come up pretty far forward, look at that. And uh, the knees definitely bend all the way in. Look at that. They're stiff at first, but then they're a lot looser right after that. And they come further and then straight. Um, we have some good articulation here at the ankles. And so um, I'm digging the way this paint has got that two tone and kind of fades right there. It's got a pretty good paint job. Look at this. And. So the hands are very similar, but they're not the same. And they do spin around, they do go back and forth. And we do have double joints at the elbow, but it's kind of hard to, there we go. I was gonna say it was kind of hard to move them with um, this here. But they did stay, look at that. So let's see if we can't get a good sculpt, I mean, not sculpt, <laughs> pose for him. And we'll use this. Dynamic figure stand. So let's try that. We'll do this, which is very simple. We'll have him kind of like coming down like that. Put him in here like so. And that should be good enough. Look at that. What do you think? Isn't that pretty awesome? I think so. All right, so we'll leave them like that. And what do you say we move on? Let's get to our next figure because that actually looks pretty outstanding. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, he fell again. I guess we're going to have to fix his foot or whatever it is that he keeps leaning over for. Okay, cool. So we have two more figures and then our build a figure. So let's move on. Next, we have Marvel's White Rabbit, and this one looks like 
they did a pretty good job with this sculpt and the paint and it definitely pops right out and they use this pink right here for this umbrella to really pop out even more so this beautiful artwork it's a mirror image on both sides and then if you'll notice there's been this theme of webbing on the side of these boxes except for of course the first two that we had that were white boxes so well just to show there we go all right so these last four have that and they have this really cool spider symbol right here so let's get Marvel's white rabbit out but let's read the back first and so doesn't that look cool it actually does so Marvel's white rabbit a brilliant woman with a twisted mind dr. Lorena Dodson is the deranged queen of crime the white rabbit so let's get her on out that looks really cool and so there we are and first thing I noticed is oops right here is this glider look how cool this flame glider is so and we'll show a little bit more in a little bit but look at that Come to the stand. Look at this. Big enough outstanding. We can pop that in there. We'll set that aside. We can really take a look. Boom, 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 boom. sitting in there too long and it's soft right here so it's not straight at the moment it's all right this way all right so man let's take a look at this face sculpt the hair sculpt just overall it's unfortunately has a little bit of artifacts there and I didn't realize that I had pinched my skin right there look at that um, but man definitely looks cool the paint job on there a little bit of blemishes I will say that like right here and so on but I definitely like how it's kind of like this um, there's highlights and so on by the way it's it's kind of like dry brushed or something on there it's cool how there's the like a pocket watch going from there to there and then this is a jacket that looks like it could come off but again like figures other figures we've had where the jackets come off you're still stuck with the sleeves of the suit so there's really no point in taking it off unless you have arms to replace it with so it's cool how there's um, a bow tie right here and it's just loose on there so the head moves only so far forward and so far back because the hair is going to restrict it from going back and the bow tie is going to restrict it from coming forward and you can take the bow tie off if you pop the head off but no thanks we'll leave it on there these rabbit ears look cool head does turn pretty well and the hair is soft but it's since it's a big amount of it, it doesn't feel so soft there, but it definitely looks like it's blowing in the wind, so I like the way that looks. The arms do move around pretty well. The arms go back really well also, and they do not move anywhere um, on the bicep, but they do move here at the elbow. They come into about a 90 degree angle, just almost a 90 degree angle, and then they'll turn there. Um, the wrists do go back and forth. It looks like they're able to hold accessories. Clearly, we're going to want her to hold this, but it um, doesn't come with any of their accessories. Does the waist move? Uh, no, but it's definitely got that very subtle ab crunch right there. The rib cage, I'm like, ugh, it only moves so much. Look, just barely. Got a really good sculpt. The legs come almost straight out um, pretty good knee joints with a double joint in the knee um, moves to the high part of the thigh and it has a pretty good um, um, hip joint there we go moves there oops and that means it was not as strong as I thought it was right there in the knee if it's gonna move that much like that look at that um, it does have the ability to move here which I don't like it to move there so I'm glad it's actually pretty stiff there and then let's see right here on these big furry boots there's some great articulation for the ankles and the feet so let's see 
what we can do here to get a really good pose. We do want to. Oh, I didn't really show the umbrella too much yet. And our other Spider-Man fell again. <laughs> it's got a pretty good sculpt there. And we'll just put this in the hand like this. And we'll make it look like she is holding it like a rifle. Oops. Maybe we can straighten that out. Maybe we can just do that. Or she's about to, right? Bring it down low. There we go. And we'll just straighten her legs out. There we are. What do you guys think? So that looks cool. And we'll put her right on over here. Near Vulture. There we are. So that looks great. Okay. Boom, and then this guy keeps falling. So we'll just have to fix his foot or something in a minute. Okay, let's move on to our last figure before I build a figure. And this last one is, of course, Marvel's Master of Kung Fu, Shang-Chi. And there will be a movie coming out about this awesome character, um, you know, in the next couple years from, of course, the MCU. And I'm excited about that. It looks like they're going to have um, also the real Mandarin and the Ten Rings, right? So that looks cool. So look at this really cool artwork. I like how it's outlined right here in black, even though there's um, not a whole lot of art with the, with the, with the um, black outline. Definitely makes it pop out like that. That looks cool. Like he's like jumping with his legs up in there. And look at this really cool action pose here. So we just got some scuffs or something here. So let's read what the back says. It says, Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi is a master of martial arts and a warrior for justice. Doesn't really tell us too much, but something that did stick out to me was that it has his name here, has her name here, has his name here, does not have his name up here before the write-up. So, interesting. And all the other ones do as well. Spider armor and, uh, oh, oops, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, so there. Let's go ahead and just open our Shang-Chi. I dropped the other box, that's what happened, and I'm trying to grab it. Okay, let's bust them on out. This one feels a little heavier than the other ones. Let's find out why. Ooh, that's why it's got this torso here. Look at all these accessories kind of what we've been begging for right so let's first take out our demo goblin um, torso midsection here oh, okay i guess we can do that there we are look at that that looks really cool man let's get in focus here buddy yeah, that looks pretty cool look at this and this shredded cape that looks cool set that aside and let's get him on out of here Look, we have this piece here which, which can break off, so be careful with that. Pop it out. Make sure this doesn't get stuck here. Kind of softly pull it out. So look at this awesome head scope. Look at that. So you can this little bit of paint bleed. That's all right. I like this hair sculpt. Let's see, the head comes really far forward and down. And then it, it can move forward, but also pivot in there. And then move side to side. Look at that. Great articulation there. We have the butterfly joint here, which we definitely need for some martial arts moves. And look at this, he's got like that Bruce Lee body sculpt. And he's got an extreme ab crunch, which is what we want with Spider-Man. I don't know why we didn't get that before. Um, so I'm really liking this body sculpt, let's see. Um, the belt, just kind of loose on there, but you know, it's all right. And let's see how well the arms move. They move very well at the shoulder, they move very well at the bicep. Let's see how well these double joints here work. Pretty good, they come in at about a 45 degree angle. Unfortunately, it looks like I have a little bit of plastic residue there, or some residual plastic from where the molding was. 
and so I like the wrists move really well that nice and smooth and this one's almost a mirror image of the other one let's bring the arm in and uh, again moves around at the wrist back and forth and let's see the knees there's a strong knee joint there for being a thinner leg right and then um, I really appreciate that the hip joint brings it up higher than just straight and barely but still um, pretty good hip joint and we move in the high part of the thigh and then you'll hear that's nice and solid and there we go I like how his pants look and then these cuffs right here they come up to the above the ankle low part of the shin and then the feet sculpt that looks pretty good they even got toenails look at that <laughs> so those feet look pretty good and then they should point and flex pretty well Ugh sure do and then pivot well look at that ah they're just stuck because they're new so just be careful make sure you apply pressure in right there so it doesn't um doesn't accidentally crack off this one is there we go okay cool so this shang chi has amazing accessories look at this so we have nunchucks and it has this really cool dragon head look at this and that look awesome and one that's um, permanently straight one that's permanently bent like that and look at all these hands so we can make it like martial arts or a hand to be holding these and straight hands like that look at that does that look absolutely amazing so why don't we try one of these weapons and we're not going to pull out all these hands but I just want to celebrate how there's five sets of hands one two three four and then of course five and these two match here these two match here I guess these two match here and those two match there so let's um let's get this one out like where this one looks and let's see it looks like it will crack off here if you're not careful so let's keep that in mind look how great this sculpt looks this dragon head that looks great. So maybe we can have him like. Holding it like, like that or something. So give me a second. Let's get this hand off. Ugh, by pulling it out. And let's get this one out here so we can have him holding it, right? We don't crack the fingers off this is what this one looks like maybe we can just roll this on in there Look at that maybe we can just have it like this and martial arts type hand held out maybe we can put straight hand you know maybe we can do the other ones but um yeah give them a strong stance and not anything like crouching or whatever so I think that looks absolutely great look at that How's that? It looks wonderful. Great! So let's set them aside over here. I think that looks absolutely outstanding. Let's put this in here. We don't lose that hand. Or I can slide that hand up in here. Up in here. Put a little bit of tape. You know? Doesn't fit perfectly, but at least we won't lose it. Okay. And the part you've all been waiting for. And one last look at how they look before we get our build a figure piece. And then, of course, our Spider Man here who refuses to stay standing up. Okay. So, here we go. It is now time for our build a figure. 
pieces to be put together. So let's put this right over here and put everything right here on the screen. Great, and our glider, put that right on over here. How does that look? Amazing, right? So and let's zoom in real quick so I can get like, you know what? Let's get a cool little picture real quick before I build this. There we are. That looks absolutely wicked. Look at that. Cool. All right. So let's build this good guy. And by good guy, I just mean because it looks really cool. Because he's not a good guy. <laughs> All right. Very cool. All right. So let's put his um, cape on right here. Let's put his head. And make sure you don't push on any of these parts because you'll crack that right off. So I'm kind of holding behind it. Look at that. Uh, twist and push. Twist and push. And that should be good enough there. Hopefully it doesn't just pop off on its own. Okay, so let's get his arms here. There we are. There we are. Push that in. Pull this down. Man, look how great it looks already. Okay, make sure this is the correct leg. Twist and push. Twist and push. Then kind of move this out of the way because it's like just rubbing against that. Twist and push. Usually it snaps, but whatever. Oof, this one's a little harder to get in. Come on, leg. Ugh. I wasn't able to get it in yet, but it's getting there. Mm. There we go. Finally, it kind of snapped in there. Okay. <laughs> it's a little twisted. Hope I didn't break anything. Now let's take a closer look at. This amazing Demo Goblin. So look at this head sculpt, of course. I actually feel like his head's being kind of pushed to the side. There we go. Look at this excellent head sculpt and paint. Looks great. I love how this is just tearing open like that. I love how this kind of comes up, kind of wicked looking like that. The head doesn't really go back and forth, but it does turn. This part is a softer plastic. Love how wicked he looks. And I love the paint scheme with this torn and tattered cape. And this awesome looking belt that's coming across right here. I'll push that back a little bit. I like the way his, um, everything's just kind of torn. Look at that. This like evil looking horned goblin, I guess. Right here on uh, in his belt. That looks great. I love the sculpt his scaly arms look at that so oh <laughs> there we go the arms only go so far in and out they move here on this part of the bicep and we have double joints at the elbows but it only comes in a little bit more than 90 degree angle the wrist does turn and these fingers are softer than the normal the wrist does go back and forth it spins around as I mentioned before look at these cool looking chains here and this arm kind of just does the same thing. The hands are slightly different because his fingers further out like this, like a Jurassic Park toe. Okay. The legs, they come in, uh, they come out almost straight out. The knees, um, you know, solid enough. And let's see, it moves in the upper part of the thigh and the hip joints move pretty well. The waist does turn and we've got a Pretty decent ab crunch, look at that. That's cool. And then uh, it does move, ooh, it does move right here on the high part of the shin. I don't really care too much about that. And then his little wicked looking goblin shoes. He's got really good articulation here at the ankle. So look at that. All right, and so as we were looking at before, look at this amazing, glider right here this flame glider 
how cool it looks there. It's absolutely amazing. Look at that. Doesn't that look crazy? I'm really digging how that looks. So, alright, well, let's, let's put them on there. It looks like I have two places to put his feet, and it comes with this stand right here. Which, interestingly enough, it has like a ball on each end because it's supposed to go in here. But I'm thinking, you know what? They all fit. So I guess this can adjust the height. Technically, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's probably supposed to be like this, which it's that tall. But look, if it's that tall, this other side is only that tall. This other side is in the middle. So they're all different heights. So I'm pretty sure that's why it's like that. But it is open on the bottom, so that's cool. Um, let's have it as a lower height. And let's pop that ball in there. Assuming it does fit. There we go. And then just push that in. And let's pop his feet onto there, like so. Let's make sure this is, goes in there. Not crooked. Same thing with this one. There we go. Let's. I don't know if we're able to really bend his knees. I guess not. That's okay. But look how cool this looks. So, sorry, I'm going a little bit off screen here because I was too busy trying to get him to stand up. But um, let's see if I can't get him to. Uh, Bend his knees just a little bit more. And see how cool that would be. That looks cool. You know what? Give me a moment. Let me let me make sure if I can get him really good. Okay, so I changed the one it was on. I actually put it on the highest one. And I tilted it down like that. And then I bent his knees while he was in here and then just kind of adjusted them a little. And I think this is actually probably the coolest pose I could have gotten. Look at that. So I think that looks absolutely outstanding. And I'm going to move him back over here. And look how great that looks. And it looks like it's hovering. It's because it's clear. So what do you guys think? Oh, let me set up that Spider-Man because he's just going to be haunting me over there as he keeps falling over. Why does he not want to stand? <laughs> oh, it's because his foot can only go so far forward. That's why. Let's just move the other foot back then. There we go. Okay. So guys, I'm so excited to pose these guys even more and get them set up. But man, were they incredible. And I definitely suggest if you're into Marvel Legends and you're into Spider-Man and um, or any of these figures, they just look absolutely incredible and it's worth making this amazing Demo Goblin. Look at that. I'll take a picture real quick. Sorry about this. There we go. So, guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And yeah. Let us know where in the world you're watching from and head back to our YouTube channel page so you can see more amazing Marvel Legends videos and others. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace. Hey, friends. Welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how absolutely incredible these Marvel Legends look. This is the brand new Fantastic Four Super Scroll Build a Figure Wave. You're not gonna wanna miss this. I know we just did Fantastic Four, the one that was Walgreens exclusive uh, just a couple weeks ago, but those are from a couple years ago, and I was so excited to you know do all of them, but this is the brand new set with a team suit. Look at that, and of course Mr. Fantastic with a beard. So we're gonna go ahead and get started momentarily. So guys, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. 
comment below give us a big thumbs up let us know where in the world you're watching from share this video with anyone who you think would enjoy it and why don't we go ahead and get started right Now. It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Welcome back, friends, to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look at this incredible, complete set of Marvel Legends. This is the brand new Fantastic Four set with the Super Scroll Wave, uh, Build-A-Figure Wave. It looks absolutely incredible. Looks unbelievable, actually. And if I take a close look right here, you can actually see who is in this set. So there is Doctor Doom, Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, Thing and Hulk, otherwise also known as She-Hulk, and they all come with Build-A-Figure pieces to make Super Scroll right here, and it's really cool because Super Scroll also has two heads, you can swap one out, and then, you know, um, regular arms and two uh, other arms you can swap out, so that looks absolutely wonderful. I can't wait to just dive right on in, and you know what, let's go ahead and go in order, what do you say? But just showing you real quick how wonderful these action figs look. Look absolutely wonderful. And all right, set this side right here. And let's go ahead and dive on in. So first, we have Dr. Doom. And look how amazing that Fantastic Four emblem looks, that symbol right there. We have two heads right here. We have some swappable hands. And looks like we have one of the legs of our Super Scroll. And look at this beautiful package and this artwork looks absolutely wonderful. It's a little dark, but uh, nonetheless looks absolutely wonderful. And take a look at this. Another action pose with the actual action figure. Actual, 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 that's all. <laughs> but um, with Dr. Doom here, let's read what it says back here because look how incredible these figs look. So it says, Dr. Doom. Victor Von Doom uses his incredible intelligence and mystical abilities to oppose the Fantastic Four. So, sure, he does, but I think it's a little more he does than just that. But, anyway, let's get him open and let's take a look just how incredible this action figure is. I've been looking for this guy all around town for a long time and finally found him at a local comic book store when we were able to get the other ones at Walmart actually. They also have them at GameStop and at Walgreens. And so let's take a look at these two heads right here. And they are different versions from the comic book. Wow, and I like this really cool like, it's supposed to look like cloth, but it's just like really thin plastic. And I'm really digging the way that looks. So that looks cool. Look at that little hood and little wrinkles right there. That looks great. And you know what? Let's push out our Super Scroll build a figure leg. Look at that. What is this? The left foot, the left leg. Okay, set that aside. Pop them on out. And so, yeah, let me say that they did a wonderful job, Hasbro did, with this Marvel Legends. Look how this looks like it's cloth almost, as does this. You know, I was wondering, but it's not. And look how it has little drawstrings right there. Let's see if I can get a better look right here with the light. Look at this face versus this one. That way you can have something to compare to. And man, does this one look outstanding. I wonder if this, no, it's attached to the top. I was like, I wonder if it just comes off. It does not, but look at that head sculpt compared to, this one doesn't open up that way, but still. So we'll set this one aside before we lose it, but look how there are some very obvious differences. There are similarities, there's very obvious differences, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave this one on, because it looks a whole lot more fierce. Let's just 
pop this back in here. There we go. And taking uh, another look at this Dr. Doom. So the head has pretty good articulation, except of course, this hood's gonna restrict the movement a little bit. This cape is just lightly placed around the neck. So that way you know about that. Um, looks like what appears to be cloth right here for his outfit is actually really soft plastic and really cool texture. This beautiful belt. Let's see how, wow, the arms actually move pretty smooth. Move all the way around, click a little bit while going around. And then we have some great movement right here in the upper part of the bicep. Man, look at this sculpt. I'm digging this extra little piece right here, right? We do have double joints right here at the elbow, so we can come into almost a 45 degree angle. I was like, does it turn here? It does not turn here, but it does move back and forth at the wrist. And look, this one actually has where it goes up and down like that and around. I'm going to sculpt in the arm. And you know what? Does this gun actually come out? I don't even know it's supposed to open. I'm just like, hey, let's open it. And it does look too bad. It's soft plastic, so it's like, meow, meow. <laughs> so hopefully we can get it to, to stand, but uh, I'm sorry to stay. But look at this. I definitely wasn't anticipating that being there. And this is two pieces, so you can have him do um, some great poses and it not restrict the movement. Look at the really cool sculpt in the legs. And it definitely has that metallic look. Let's see. I need to see what the joint movement is on the legs. It is interesting. So it's not a typical ball joint, but it does have, um, does move with the high part of the thigh. Look how it has those, where it clasps it together right there. Um, some pretty decent hip joint. Some great mobility right here with, with the knees. Look at that. Almost a mirror image. And then check out these ankles. They're a whole lot looser than I would have. Well, this one is not loose. It's this one that's loose. Look at that. And this one's like. Anyway. So we are able to have some. Wow, this, um, this angle is a little bit wacky. And not wanting to move with uh, the way I want it to. But this one does move better. All right, so check out this hand scope. Check out this one. So that clearly this gun needs to go only in this hand and he's got a trigger finger. And we can make him look very comic book-esque. And there we are, let's... I will have you in my clutches. Let's see. Let's see if we can have the best pose with this gun. That's good enough. It actually looks pretty awesome, look at that. Let's go ahead and set him over here and you can actually use the cape to help him stand. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, he does turn right here underneath where the belt is. Man, this is a great looking double belt there. Look at that. Wow. Oh, and we have this here too. Didn't even notice that. Look at that. I'm like, I guess we can put um, some of those action editions that show it's like, like a flame we want coming out. But it looks absolutely great. Okay. There we go. And he does do his ab crunch right there where there's a joint right there. So that looks absolutely amazing. Let's put him right on over here. What do you say? Look how great that looks. All right, awesome. Let's move on to our next action figure. Which next, it's Mr. Fantastic. And I will say this, you know, obviously he's such an important figure 
uh, important person in the Fantastic Four. And this is pretty cool how we have him with a beard here and a little touch of gray right there on his beard. But I was a little disappointed to see only his hands are shown as... Uh, like I feel it could have done a lot more than just fingers and not even the thumb either. So couldn't we have done something else elongated? Because that's a little disappointing. Just and that's it. And there's no real other accessories just in those two spider. I don't, almost don't even want to swap them out. But all right, there was my rant for today. <laughs> but uh, all right, here we go. This one comes with the other leg. Look at this artwork right here. He's just kind of thinking with his gloves. It's a mirror image right here. And here's an action pose. So he just has his arm across his body. Not digging that it has two fists either. So. I'm not really digging either one of these for action poses, so that's unfortunate, but let's take a look at what it says here. Mr. Fantastic. Reed Richards is a brilliant scientist with the ability to stretch his body into any shape. And this looks great. And let's get him on out. Here we are. Look at that. And of course, we have the other leg for our Super Scroll. There we are. Okay. And I don't know how I feel about these hands, but you know what? Let's try them on anyway. Let's zoom on in. Look at this head sculpt. It's pretty good. Um, it's a little bit like little dots here, which we will see often, but for the solid paint here, it's pretty good head sculpt. Look at that. Let's see how far back. Wow, amazing uh, articulation mobility. We can turn the head pretty well. That's great. Um, we've got a pretty good solid, you can hear it, ab crunch here. Arms go all the way around and they move far back enough. Look at that. You can even flex. <laughs> so, mm, we're stretching, gotta get out of bed. So, put your dukes up. Look at that. Okay, and so we have uh, this is a body sculpt that we've seen. Well, I guess more of the arms we've seen because this right here is a little more unique. Look at that Fantastic Four emblem on his chest. This is kind of cool, this little paint job right here. Little detail. This um, right here where uh, it turns right here at the waist. I like this paint, this almost like this V stripe right here. <laughs> okay, we have double joints right here at the elbow. Let's see, they both move. Yes, and it almost brings the arms all the way in. So that's a plus. We have good articulation right here and moving the wrists. Now, if you look here, this looks like a little bit of rushed um, sculpt, and because of that, it makes it look like paint. And we'd actually need to sand that down. Look at that. So this one's a little bit better. And there's not a whole lot to see on this action figure. Um, got nice stiff joints. These. Uh, knees bend pretty well look at that we got outstanding articulation in the arms and legs actually was not high part of the thigh right here got pretty good hip joints and some really good ankle articulation look at that and some really futuristic looking shoes man I would wear those shoes and they have like cleats on the bottom so <laughs> that's interesting don't know what future sport he's looking to play but those would be some really cool shoes, just throwing that out there. I would definitely buy those. So, all right. So we swap out the hands. All right, so all we gotta do is twist and pull. Twist and pull. Pull these bad boys out. And, all right, well, this is what the hand looks like. And it's just soft plastic. Unfortunately, this is settled in there, so it keeps bending into the other finger. Get this one out too. So they look like they're basically almost mirror images. Each other, we'll put that in there. And, okay. This hand right here. And so, almost looks like it wants to be Wolverine, but not. And, so as I mentioned before, this is 
just not a very exciting accessory. If that's all he's doing, just stretching out his fingers. I'd rather the arm stretch out than the fingers. Or both, but oh well. So let's just make him a more exciting pose. There we go, like he's gonna play like catch and be like gotcha. So let's see what we can do regarding that. But other than that, like this isn't this unfortunately missed opportunity. I mean this is Mr. Fantastic. So anyway. So just leave him like that. And there we are. So Alright, cool. Set him up right on over here. And you know what? Let me get him a different pose. So something simple, just like that. But would have liked to have been able to do more with this action figure. Unfortunately, it is limited. Alright. Cool. Um, hold on, he's not standing the way I wanted him to. There we go. Alright. He just kind of like... What? What? <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Next, we have Marvel's Invisible Woman. And this looks outstanding. It comes with a super scroll chest torso area. And this is all right artwork. Not amazing. There's a mirror image. And this one looks all right. And then I guess... Um, uh, I'm sorry. It feels a little uninspired. But this action figure looks great. And let's read what it says back here. It says, Marvel's Invisible Woman. Sue Storm has the ability to bend light, making herself and others invisible. And she can do other stuff, force field and so on, but all it mentions back there for now. Let's slide her on out. And again, perhaps a lack of uh, accessories. So we only have this. And I'm like, this doesn't show what we can do with it here. And... I guess her fingers can slide in there. It's got a little weird hole. So, take a look at that. Sorry about that. Here's our super scroll chest and torso area. That looks cool. We'll set it aside for now. Pop out. There we are. All right taking a closer look here and pretty good head sculpt look at that the paint on the hair is a little rush looking but good sculpt for the hair softer here and has pretty good articulation especially down back of course it's going to be restricted by how much you can go there and still moves a little bit so pretty good head sculpt um, this body mold we've seen many times before Unfortunately, it looks like, okay, if you push it in and down, the arms will move back more than, than I thought. Obviously, they are matching uniforms. So that looks cool, and that's why we have this same little B-stripe here. So, all right, we got where it looks almost like gloves here, but it's just the suit design. And she's got this hand like we've seen many times before. We saw it on uh, MJ in the spider-man homecoming two-pack got a fist here and i really would have liked to have seen more accessories something but nonetheless we are they definitely have the team suits comes into about a 90 degree angle here this arm feels a little bit looser than the other one and this one the wrist does go back and forth and around fingers are soft we got um pretty good articulation here at the hips and then we can move in the high part of the thigh. Okay. These uh, joints right here at the knees are a little bit softer than I would have liked. That's why they kind of move like this. But they do seem to stay put, so I will say that much. And then um, here we have almost the same shoes, except these have a little bit of 
some sort of wedge or something right here partial platform otherwise um, you know they almost look cool like um, Mr. Fantastics but anyway they look all right I wish it wouldn't be two hands uh, it wouldn't be any fist whatsoever two hands like this would have even been better but this let's see does this slide right on in here I'm thinking it does see Look at that so that's kind of cool I guess that looks really cool again I would have liked to have had um, two hands kind of open like that then so let's see if I can get her to balance with these shoes that looks pretty good so there we are all right cool so let's see if we can There we go. A slightly better pose. Let's move this ankle. The ankle's not staying as much as I would have liked it to. That looks really cool. Let's put her right on over here. And I don't want her to be falling forward. That looks pretty awesome. Look at that. What do you think about that, guys? Okay, great. Go ahead and move on to our next action figure. What do you say? Next is the Human Torch. Look how great this looks. This is all right. Pretty okay um, uh, drawing right here. And let's take a look to see what it says here on the back. It says, Human Torch. Johnny Storm can transform his body into incredibly hot plasma. Control fire and fly. That's yep, right on. And this one's very different from the Human Torch that we just did recently because that one the whole body was flames. And um, should be told if you haven't seen that video that Marvel Legends actually just flew apart basically. But um, anyway, I haven't glued them back together, but we will do that. So. <laughs> All right. Take a look here, and wow, very cool. So we have some other, um, we have two sets, uh, a set of arms for one side for our super scroll, a traditional arm, and then we have here, where he's kind of morphing into the thing on this arm, look at that. Isn't that really cool? And so we also have, this, which I'm not 100% sure. No, I, okay, I take that back. I am 100% sure because look, you can put it right there on the on the on the super scroll. It's like, who's it for? But I guess I can put it here. That's cool. I'm sure we could do something like put it on um, the Human Torch as well if we like. I guess we will switch out the hands because again, just fists. Look, excuse driving. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's look at this head sculpt. Looks okay. I think I would have. Uh, all right, we'll see. It's a little different. Um, I like the way the hair looks right there, and the sculpt for that. Let's see how what sort of mobility we have for. The head, ah, pretty good. It tilts a little bit, moves all the way around. You see that? So it's pretty far back and forward. We actually get um, some pretty outstanding articulation with this butterfly joint here. Look at that. So that's cool. Shoulders move around really well. Moves pretty good right above the bicep. Look at that. So that's cool. And then has pretty good joint articulation there. For the elbows, they come in almost a 90, 45 degree angle, almost. Now, it is a little bit looser than I would have liked. There we go, doing his bow flex. 
Um, has a great ab crunch, look at that. And clicks and then moves pretty well here at the waist. We have some um, pretty good articulation on the, on the legs. Right there, the knees move pretty well. High part of the thigh moves pretty well. Um, the hip joints move pretty well. Everything's, you know, doing pretty good with this action figure. We'll say this. Again, has the matching suit, like Reed. Um, he's got this extra joint right here on the high part of the shin. I'm not a big fan of that because bodies don't really move like that either. It doesn't help with any poses. He's got those really cool shoes that I like. <laughs> and he's got that design right here. So that looks great. And you know what? Let's go ahead and switch these hands out. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. This piece of tape right here. Just pop it out from the side. Like that. So we can just put these hands underneath that. Here they go. Whoop. And whoop. Put this little wrap around flame here. Whoop. Wrap around flame there. And let's get these hands right on in here. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Look at that. That I'm digging. Again, too bad it's only his hands. This one, fist flame. So that looks cool. It's very different. There we go. Looks like he's baseball pitcher. About to throw a pitch. Um, just kidding. And we can definitely put these here. We just kind of wrap around like that. That's cool, right? Same thing here. They just, they're soft and they just kind of wrap around. There we are. We'll do that. Wow, I really like the way that looks. So maybe we can have him almost like flying them. Hmm. Let me see what I can do here. Okay. I think this looks kind of cool. Look at this. I have him on this action, dynamic action stand to show him kind of like jumping up. Check that out. So. Jumping, flying, hovering, you name it. And then of course we have this super scroll flame right here, but that's the side. Oh no, he's like, oh. <laughs> wow, that was short lived. So I can just have him like that. Maybe that's too high. All right, let me fix this real quick. Give me a second. Sorry guys. Maybe we can still have him leaning forward. There we go, look at that. Good, because I'm really digging that. All right. Cool. All right, let's move on next. We have a, just a couple more. Next, we have Marvel's Thing. And this one comes with two Super Scroll heads, and both of them look amazing. Look at this awesome thing right here. That's great artwork right there. Very much in the same style as the other ones, but this is a really awesome piece of work right there. And let's take a look at what it says here on the back. Look at that, this one comes with, obviously we already saw the heads, what am I thinking? <laughs> and look at this really cool action pose that, was, that they photographed here with a little bit of fog. So, Marvel's thing, bombarded by cosmic rays. Ben Grimm develops thick orange skin and superhuman strength. Okay, let's get him out. It looks a little bit different than the last thing that we reviewed for Fantastic Four, which was just recently. 
Here we are. Let's take a look here. Wow, look at these, both of these head sculpts. Careful with the ears here. Look at that for Super Scroll. Looks outstanding. You know what? Maybe we can use both heads. We can do almost like army building with scrolls. Again, be careful with the ears. Don't get ripped off when you're pulling it out. There we are. So almost the same, but one smiling. Look at that. So let's see. If it's glue or whatever, but pretty awesome. Put that aside. Here, Ben Grimm, and he is definitely. All right, let's take a closer look. Great head sculpt. Look at those eyes. Wow. Those are definitely bright blue. And this big overstated brow. That underbite and lip. <laughs> let's see. Oh! <laughs> the head just took off. Give me a second. Okay, good. It didn't take me that long to find. I was like, let's see how far to go. And popped right up. Go. Okay, it's about that far down, that far back. Because if I push it any harder, it'll go flying off. So pretty good body sculpt. Look at this. Um, does not. Oops, I don't know what's clicking. Doesn't ab crunch really well, which is right under the rib cage anyway. Um, has a really smooth uh, spin right there in the shoulder, and then coming out right here. The shoulder moves really smooth also. There's some uh, pretty strong joint here, right here at the elbow also, but it does not come into a 90 degree angle. Spins right here in this fist. It moves back and forth pretty well and around. Same here, same here. Look at this, basically a mirror image. Um, this one I don't mind both being fists. And interestingly enough, this is almost like a wristband right here in, uh, instead of a belt and doesn't really need to be loose but it is um does turn right here at the waist his hip joints move pretty well oof be careful you don't pinch your finger in these big heavy duty uh, knee joints it is pretty hard to move this one was definitely looser than the other ones but look this part of the knee didn't even move at all so this one's moving a little too easily and this one's there we go just had to loosen it up a bit there we go. Oop, I did pinch my finger after all. Okay, so then we have some really good joints for the ankles. Oh, at least for that one. There we go. Got this one moving back and forth and around. And take a look at his uh, moves in the high part of the thigh. He's got shorts to match the team's uniform. And otherwise looks pretty great. The little bit of highlight right here on the feet and the upper part of the chest and the head and the shoulders so that looks pretty good and let's see what we can do about making it clobber in time there we are I'm gonna stand big and tall look at that think about that very cool let's make them intimidating look at that there we are. All right, cool. That looks great. Simple. Oh. Simple, but looks absolutely outstanding. Look at that. Loving it. There we go. Okay, awesome. All right. So last but not least, we do have our She-Hulk, Hulk action figure. She looks absolutely outstanding. And of course, she's not necessarily for the Fantastic Four series, but I'm sure they've crossed paths before. But that's why this one doesn't say Fantastic Four on the front, but it's, and doesn't have the emblem on the top. But what a great figure to round out this set. And look at this beautiful artwork here. This great action pose here. And back here it says Hulk. It says 
Jennifer Walters struggles to control her anger and keep the powerful Hulk at bay. So the last one, this one comes with um, two arms, the right arms. And yeah, let's get her on out. Very cool. And look at that. Of course, it's elongating like Mr. Fantastic and like the Invisible Woman. Um, also invisible. So that's really cool. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. And here's the regular scroll arm. Look, at that. look how tall she is. We do have hands to swap out. So I'm happy about that. Let's see, her arms are getting stuck. There we go. And there we go. Definitely tall. And take a look at this head sculpt. I love the paint. Love the Super Channel uh, Super Channel G green for the eyes. Right there across the nose. Beautiful head sculpt. Face sculpt. Um, this paint on the hair looks a little rushed. But that hair sculpt looks cool. Um, let's see. The head moves really far down. And probably would move pretty far back if it weren't for the hair restricting it. Let's see. The arms kind of click as they go around. They have really nice joints to do out. Look at that. That looks outstanding. Moves the high part of the bicep. And then she's got... Well, she doesn't have single joints. I would have thought she still had double joints. But um, she almost, well, I guess this would be 90 right here. So definitely closer to 45 degree angle. Look at that. Um, she's got her ab crunch underneath the ribs. It doesn't move like terribly far down her back. Well, back it moves pretty well. Um, got some of that gamma radiation or whatever's going on here as far as from the cuts. Um, torn jeans. So pockets got pretty good um, detail on that torn shirt. And let's see. Ugh. Got great joints right here on the knees. Here we are. That's solid. Great movement right here in the high part of the thigh. Excellent movement right here in the, in the hips. And it does not turn at the waist, so just keep that in mind. And Great sculpt and moves really well right here at the ankles. Look at that, especially because she's barefoot. So, this looks absolutely wonderful. She's definitely hulking out. And I don't even know if we need a different pose, but these are what the other hands look like. Kind of like, so I guess to hold something would be really cool. Otherwise, right now, since she's having a fit of rage, I guess I'd be okay with her having two fists. And look at this almost like cosmic swoosh back here. So let me go ahead and set this aside. Let's take uh, a look at um, how we want to pose her. Man, is she tall. So let's see. Let's just do something simple like this, right? And have her just in a fit of rage. Look at that. We'll probably just do that. Turn her a little bit. Look at that. Is that good enough? Let's go this back up. And they're kind of angling down a little bit. So that's a little weird. I wish they weren't. So that does stick out to me, but you know, whatever. Still pretty good. All right. Let's see, let's bring the leg back in there. So it's a little more natural pose and There we are, look at that. I guess we could turn her this way. Yeah, I guess that'll work better. Okay, what do you guys think? It looks absolutely outstanding. There we go. And we'll turn her head just a little bit. Look at that. Wow! Oops. <laughs> Got caught on my tripod. These look absolutely outstanding so far. 
a little unimpressed with Mr. Fantastic, but otherwise the other figures look pretty good. Okay, and let's get on to what you've been waiting for. Last but certainly not least, we are going to have our Super Scroll, which let's put our pieces out right here. What do you say to that? Look at this. We actually have this as well, right? So how cool is that? We have a little flame. I think that looks absolutely wonderful. And which head do you want to use? I mean, clearly we will set these two arms aside because no thanks. And which head sculpt do we want? I guess let's um, try this one. Even though the other one look, looks a little more menacing. So let's see if we can get this too. You heard that? All right, that looks great. Let's put this clobbering time. Oops. Let's see. Heard that click. Uh oh. I'm not getting it to come down. And then it's kind of weird right here. So, um, there, just apply pressure and down. There we go. Same thing here. There we go. Down. Man, this action figure already looks incredible. Let's put this right on in here. It's not going in very easily. Twist and push. <clears throat> Let's see, doing something wrong. Let's try this one instead. Wow, that's strange. Never had that sort of trouble. And then it, it's also shaped weird. All right, give me a second. All right, so we got one in and it took me having to lift the arms up, really grip it tight and push, but I can't get this one in. Let's try this one. Okay, so I really had to grip it like this and then shove in like this and it was not easy. Let me say that much. So, all right. So now that I got that out of the way, that was extremely difficult. And I would, um, his leg is a little crooked. But, all right, nonetheless, look how absolutely incredible this super scroll looks. And we could have this face right here, but I'll go ahead and have this one. Look how great this looks. Okay, so this is a combination of Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman. It's a combination of Thing and Human Torch. Look at that. That look absolutely great. So I'm sure we could do all sorts of other stuff. Fire beard. Fire on the leg. Look at that. That's still kind of cool. Without having it on the arm here. So what do you think about that? I'm sure nobody else is going to put on the leg, but I kind of like it there. Look at that. Because I want to show off this thing arm. So, let's take a closer look. This head sculpt. And take a look at that. So we have a little bit of yellow here for some reason. Okay. And let's see the head articulation. Head moves pretty far back. Pretty far forward. That looks nice. That's great uh, movement. Just a great head sculpt all around. I really like the sculpt on this um, upper body torso. That's great clicking. Um, ab crunching was really far back and forward. Look at that. Okay. This does restrict the arms from moving a little bit, but it does spin all the way around. The shoulder, ugh. There we go. Support it and push it in and out because it's a little tougher than you would imagine. You don't want it to just crack off here either. Got some pretty good mobility right here at the elbow and comes in more than a 90 degree angle so that's really cool same thing here wow this one actually comes in and he's like Psh! accidentally hit himself all right let's see right here this wrist does go back and forth and spins 
So that's cool. Interesting how it's curved a little bit there. So that's cool. It does move at the waist. Um, he's definitely, they made him stronger legs. Moves in the high part of the thigh. Moves all right at the hip. There we go. That. It does have this extra and it's uh, joint right here, which I don't like. And this one's a little bit looser, but that's all right. You know, just super glue it. And we got some great articulation right here in the boots. So that looks great. Muscle detail. So I'm really, really digging this figure. This is an outstanding build of figure. So just get him a strong pose because he shouldn't be like creeping around he should be very much feeling like he's in charge like he's the man let's even have crunch him back like that look at that if I can just get him to stay it looks wonderful or should say looks fantastic <laughs> there we are okay and then I dropped the flame somewhere found it nailed it there we are cool wow that looks great let's set them right here and let me just say guys if you have not already subscribed to our channel Please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come up. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from and which one of these you like or you have already. And yeah. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching Vincent G's Super Channel G. Peace. Hey friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. And look what we have for you here today. We have these incredible new Marvel Legends from the Black Widow movie. And then of course, some other figures that are in the set for the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Look at these incredible action figures. They're so great. I can't wait for the movie to come out. And then, well, the movie hasn't come out yet. So obviously, depending on when you're watching this, this is April 2020. The movie doesn't come out till November 2020, but we're so excited. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. And so guys, uh, give us a big thumbs up. Talk to us in the comments below. And why do you say we go ahead and get started right now? So nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Super All right, friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. I can't wait to get started with these incredible Black Widow Marvel Legends action figures. They are so amazing. And so let's just dive right on in. Let's see who exactly we're going to be reviewing today because we have the complete Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure set right here. And then we have two exclusive Black Widow action figures. And let's see exactly who's in this set. So first, we have Taskmaster. We have Black Suit, Black Widow. We have Yelena Belova. We have Red Guardian. Winter Soldier. Marvel's Crossbones. Marvel Spy Master. We have this Black uh, White Suit, Black Widow, the Deadly Origin. And we have this Black Widow action figure, this deluxe one that has all these accessories. Looks absolutely incredible. So um, you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this. Let's dive right on in. Let's start with our Build-A-Figure set. What do you say to that? All right, so first we're gonna do this incredible Taskmaster. And let me tell you, this Taskmaster looks absolutely amazing. And you know what I was thinking? Just to show you how cool 
the other Taskmasters are from the previous sets. Check this out. We want to do a video soon of all three of the ones that we have. We might actually have more when you take into account the Toy Biz uh, era. We have these other Taskmasters and they look absolutely great. But of course, let's focus on our movie one today. And uh, keep in mind, the movie has not come out yet when we're making this video. And we're actually not sure. It looks like they pushed it back to November 2020. It is still April 2020 when I'm making this video. So um, we'll just go off of what we know so far and the really incredible trailer. So look at this beautiful action figure. It looks absolutely great. It looks just like um, the trailers that we've seen. And look at that really tech looking mask right there. Doesn't that look absolutely incredible? Look at this beautiful artwork. It's kind of just appears to be, well, maybe it's not even a mirror image. It looks like the same image um, twice. And then this really cool uh, concept art back here. Again, we have a close up of who's in the set. And each one of these action figures contains one build a figure piece for Crimson Dynamo, except Taskmaster. You know what I just noticed? This. Notice how this is not out of focus yet. This sort of looks that way. It's actually that way on um, on the print. It's just not really focused. But anyway, let's take a closer look and let's see what the write-up says back here. And this write-up says, Taskmaster is armed with the ability to mimic an enemy's every move. And if you've seen the preview, he does like this Spider-Man type jump where he's got his arm back like this. He's got almost like a Captain America shield. He's got Black Panther claws. I mean, the list goes on and I'm anxious to see just what exactly he can do, what his powers are and who he's mimicking and how he was able to get like all the stuff. And so I don't know if he's got almost like a Stark Tech visor in there. I don't know, but let's get him open. Let's see just how incredible this guy is. And of course this is, he does not come with a Build-A-Figure piece. So, he's technically optional if you want to build Crimson Dynamo, but trust me, he's not optional as far as having in your collection. Look how absolutely incredible it looks. Oh, I almost forgot Hawkeye with this uh, bow and arrow right here. So, we'll take a look. So, man, look at this right here. We can place that in there. Let's pop him on out. And let's definitely dive right on in. And let's see how incredible the detail is on this action figure. Looks like the hood is attached to the top of his head, but cannot be removed. So it's probably glued up there. Um, we don't have amazing head articulation, but we have pretty good head articulation considering this hood right here. But it is, um, even though it's kind of softer type plastic or vinyl, um, it does restrict the movement a little bit. Look at that awesome mask where it's almost like a skeleton almost. Look at that, with that digital visor. It's got this really cool um, part that comes across right here. And I'm like, well, is it supposed to have a cape or not, right? <laughs> um, definitely looks like it's supposed to, but I guess part of that cloak. And then um, I'm not sure what this gear does on his suit, but we're gonna find out when the movie comes out, right? All right, so let's see. Um, he's got a really incredible ab crunch that goes pretty far forward and a decent amount back. Um, he turns right here at the waist. So he turns nice and smooth everywhere. Um, his shoulders, let's see, they click really heavily and they actually go in pretty well. Um, it's restricted by when it hits about there, if you'll see. So it goes about that far in, won't go any further. Looks like about a mirror image on both arms. Turns right here on this part of the bicep. Look at that. And it's a nice chunky build. Let's see. Ugh. We do have double joints at the elbow. So we're able to come in more than a, than a 45 degree angle. So that's a plus. And let me tell you, this articulation is nice and strong. Ooh, I don't know why we're able to go beyond um, going straight there with a 180. Um, so let's see this fist. It does bend in and out and only goes so far out because of that piece right there. It does spin, it looks absolutely great. It looks like we have basically a mirror image here. Look at that. So that's awesome. This uh, elbow is a little bit more difficult to maneuver than I thought it was gonna be. So while everything else is great, ugh. This, um, the part on the forearm is a little more difficult 
and you'll see he ends up bending further out. So you're gonna have to, that's actually kind of odd. Look at that. You're gonna need to support this a little more than I thought. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see the legs. It turns right here in the high part of the thigh. Let's see, we've got some pretty good leg movement right here. Looks like we got a joint right there that spins out. This is soft plastic, and this is actually kind of free floating. So, but it moves well. Let's see, we have really strong knee joints, and that's good because it's not going to come loose, but it does move slightly further than straight out. Look at that. Just like the elbow. Let's bend both legs to make sure we get good articulation there. Yep, absolutely. And then of course moves further out. So that's a little different. Gonna get some take uh, some getting used to. And right here, wow, the ankles actually move really well and pivot. So that's awesome. Okay, let's take a look at the detail on the suit, which is beautiful. Look at the paint job. I love how it's like metallic. Look at that. The belt, the paint job on this action figure is superb. Look at the mold, look at the pants, look at the paint job here. Look at that orange and blue, looks great. Look at the boots. The mold on this action figure is beautiful. Look at that, look at that hood. So let's take a look at the accessories. Look at the shield looks absolutely great and does exactly what like our Captain America shields have done in the past. You can put it here on his wrist, like that. Or we can put it in his hand, well, I guess in one of the other hands. <laughs> and then if he had a peg, we could actually put it right here, which he does not. So just throwing that out there, and with an open hand, we can actually put that in there. So let's see what we got in here. We have two sets of hands, in addition to the ones it comes with. And let's see what these look like. Let's take all of these really am amazing accessories out. Let's see, we have to lift this tape right here. How are we gonna get this out? Which part comes out, the front or the back? Let's see. Oof, this is gonna be difficult to understand. Let's see, let's push it down in. I definitely don't wanna break this. There we go. We have these Black Panther type claws right here. Look at this. So this is one set of hands like that, and that looks really cool. And it shows him doing that like Wakanda Forever, like across his body in the our preview. And it's like a really incredible like saber right here out. Look at that. Zoom in the detail. So that looks absolutely awesome. Blade and handle, okay. And then these hands, we have one with a finger, I guess, to pull back the the bow, and then the other hand to hold it. So let's see what that looks like. Let's let's get rid of these fists right here by just twisting and popping them off. There we go. Let's pop these right on in by pushing and twisting. And these are probably the hands that we're gonna want to keep on here. Let's put the other hands back. I'm gonna just pop that right in here. Put that away. And first, let's see what his sword and um, shield look like. Look at this. Oop. Look at that. Can't tell me that doesn't look absolutely incredible. Let's get him really good action posing. There we go. His knee's bending a little funky. But there we are. We can turn him this way. Look at that. And there's a little bit of restriction with his shoulder. That's the only bad part. And his wrist is kind of pushed out. So, hmm, on both of them. So that's kind of interesting. 
because it's pushed out, I can't, it doesn't pull in as close as I, I thought it would. I would like it, this sword to kind of come straight like this, but it's forced out. That's all right. Definitely looks cool. All right. So, we can't turn his head more than that. We can pull the shield about there. I wonder if the shield is the size that it would be in the movie, but let's take a look at that. How great that looks. Hey, okay, awesome. Now let's switch this for this bow and arrow. And this looks like it's just gonna go, wow, cool. I haven't even um, shown you what this looks like. The great detail here. I love how this is like a soft plastic right here. It's attached here and here. And then this we can just looks like we can slide on in there. Look at that. So we can I'm assuming put this right in. How do we want this? Because that probably has to go up here. Right? So since it doesn't show us on the, uh, on the action figure uh, box, let's let's just put it like this anyway. That way it comes across the top. Even though it's coming across a little awkward. Let's bring the arm over here. And you know what? I won't be able to really straighten it like I would like to. And I don't want to pull it back too far either. So, let me see. He's definitely not going to be able to have the pose that I thought he would. Because in order to pull this back, it would look a little too forced. And this finger isn't going to hold it. So... Hmm, it's kind of a missed opportunity. Because I definitely can't pull that back without it looking forced and weird and plasticky. And it doesn't, it's not going to hold it anyway, look. Because for me to push it in there, it's going to slide out anyway. Alright, so it was a cool idea. But um, since the whole thing starts to bend, it doesn't work. And since you need to have the arm outstretched, um, and I can't bring it across the body either, that's the problem. So, hmm. It was a cool idea, and the execution just didn't work out. This is cool. So, nonetheless, these accessories still go well. I still love the way they look. They still look outstanding. And we can still like probably place them here. But um, it's not the same. And I could flip this over the other way, but still. Um, not the same. But still look absolutely outstanding. I'll put that away and then maybe um, have him getting ready. So, all right, we'll set that aside. We'll see if we can. Um, what if we try to switch these hands? Will that work? Mm, sort of. Let's see if we can. Um, come down like this. And bring this down right here. And bring this leg up and this leg out. How will that look? Bring this arm a little further like this. Almost a great pose if I can get it to stay though. <laughs> Alright, 
is a little awkward. Let's see if I can fix it a little bit better. But why did I do this pose like this? Why, you ask? Because of this. So let me see if I can get this to work at all. All right, we did as close as we could do to that artwork right there with the mobility that this action figure allows us to do. So it only goes so far back in the arms and it goes so far forward with the arms and the head only goes so far um, to the side and around. But still, I think this action pose is still pretty strong, very dynamic. I don't know if the shield is supposed to be a little bit bigger, but nonetheless, looks absolutely gorgeous. I think you'll agree. And I say let's move on. Looks absolutely amazing. And let's put them right on over here. But you know what? The sword's gonna get in the way. <laughs> That's all right. All right, let's move on. Next, what do you say? And next we have this outstanding black suit, Black Widow. She looks absolutely amazing. Look at this. And this comes with one of the legs of Crimson Dynamo. Look at these accessories right here. We have another set of hands, we have a pair of handguns, and we have these batons. That looks outstanding. Let's see, is this the exact same picture? Uh, mirror image. And good, we have another picture in the back, so it's just those two. Um, the same, but this one is different, so it's not the same picture three times. And again, here we are. So she comes with the left leg of Crimson Dynamo. And let's see what it says back here. Look at this beautiful artwork. It's absolutely great. It says, Black Widow. Natasha Romanoff reunites with a group of spies from her past to stop a lethal force. Yeah, buddy, look at that awesome action pose. I wonder if we can, what's the closest we can get to that action pose with this action figure? And why don't we find out, right? Let's take a look. Let's see, let's get this open. There we go. Looks like it doesn't want to open. <laughs> okay. Come on out. There we are. Look at that awesome Black Widow symbol back there. Let's get our the bigger piece out look at that and why is it slightly looser right anyway get that leg over here. let's see how tall it is compared to her okay decent and let's pop her right on it and this piece pops off no it does not and let's zoom, zoom on in and let's see what sort of face sculpt we have looks like we have didn't even notice that there's like a little blemish right there let me see if I can get that off. Give me a second. All right, thank you guys. Looks like I was able to um, get it off for the most part. Look at that. This great uh, head sculpt. You know what, let's get closer. That way it's not just a ton zooming, but definitely closer. Look at this face sculpt, looks awesome. Uh, the paint on the eyes is, looks like several colors just kind of dotted on there, so that looks a little uh, odd when you zoom on in. It looks great from far, but you zoom on in and you know, it looks a little Interesting uh, the face and the hair sculpt look absolutely wonderful. I'm digging that That a little bit of plastic coming off right there. Let's just kind of pull that off Okay, look at this awesome sculpt This is a great sculpt and then um, I don't know if this um, belt supposed to be yeah centered right here that black widow symbol there we go it looks like it's also not attached but it's kind of um, on there so that's why it can move a little bit let's see we have um, wow it's a pretty big um, ab crunch but backwards and then tilts and pivots there this is where it turns it's not turn at the waist let's see the shoulders the shoulders move in uh, pretty far in I guess considering it has this like shoulder lip right here they go around they click every time they, they move around look at that that holds them in place pretty well we have a single joint on the elbow it comes more in than a 90 degree angle but it does have this to keep it from going back so um, I love the detail that's on her suit I love this right here on her on her wrists that looks very reminiscent of the comic books. And then I wonder why this one has it slightly, oh, 
because you can move this part right here on the wrist. I was like, it looks a little different in this one than this one. Okay, so let's see the wrist. This one goes side to side, up and down, kind of like that and around. Looks like it holds a gun. So does this one. We both have trigger finger, and they go, they kind of pivot like this as opposed to back and forth. Um, kind of undecided about that. Looks like we have two holsters right here. The detail on the suit looks great. Let's see, the legs. I wish they would move a little bit more because you can't kick higher than that, I guess. Look. And so with the Black Widow being able to do all sorts of great um, action fighting, it'd be nice for her to do um, better movement on the hips. Let's see the knees work pretty well. Um, we have good point of flex right here. Do they pivot? Yes, they do. So that's awesome. Looks like a mirror image on these two legs. That's great. The only thing, and it um, moves right here at the, the high part of the thigh. The legs open up to about that much, but they only come so far forward because it ends up hitting right here here where when I pushed it actually made a line on the action figure look at that because it hits right here so that's a little unfortunate because obviously I don't want it marking my action figure and I also want the legs to come up a little further than just that that's not very far forward so other than that this action figure looks great Looks like we're not going to have very um, amazing mobility um, to pose this action figure, which is unfortunate because I wanted to try and do this pose right here. There is no way this leg is coming this high. And she could probably do barely this bendy knee right here. So let's see what the closest we can do to get that is. Um, but let's take a look at these accessories. Look at these two handguns. Those are great. These are two fists. So I don't want any fists. Let's see what these two batons look like. They're a little bent from the packaging. Let's bring this down here. And will they even be held very well? Yeah, because they will. Because they get thicker on the bottom. Look at that. Now we're going to have to straighten this one out. But otherwise, we can definitely have her... Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. In order to get it straight, going up and down a 90 degree angle, we'd have to pivot her hand um, away from this angle it's at. So again, we're, we're coming up on some, some unfortunate roadblocks here. Let's see, in order to have this here, we can't have it up because we'd have to pivot the wrist up. So, this is already not going as planned. We can have that, we can have that. We can have one knee bent. But it's definitely not going as planned, look at that. It's the best we can do to bend her leg up for it to look up like this. So, we're gonna have to think of another pose. And I don't know if I like the way these look with these hands that it came with because they're leaning too far forward and to bring them back we don't want the wrist going like that it should just naturally close like that so let's try putting the guns in our hand because that should look better there we go Pull those out. And hopefully they're not at a weird angle. Let's pop that right in here. Okay. There we are, just place it so that the, the wrist works well. And you know what? That should work. 
so let's see. Let's bring a different um, pose in this. All right, so we're gonna do a very simple stance, a very strong um, uh, standing in control stance. Very simple. Um, looks like the leg is getting loose. Look at this, unfortunately. Um, and because her limited ability to be posed, um, we're gonna choose to go with this. Now, I forgot to mention how much uh, ability we have to move the head. We can move you know, pretty far down, but if you'll notice the way the hair is and the fact that it's still like really thick plastic, we can't move it other than really side to side and barely pivot. So moving it to this side will allow for more mobility. Um, this side will not because it's gonna start hitting there. But nonetheless, for our power stance, we're gonna spread the legs a little bit like that and then just have her just very confident. What do you say to that? I think it looks absolutely amazing. Put her right over here. There we go, look at that. And from this angle, it's great. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our next action figure. Okay, so next we have Yelena Belova. Let's go ahead and bring this up here. Set that leg aside, and let's take a look at this incredible action figure right here. Looks so outstanding. Uh, the only gripe I have about this box is it looks like the same artwork three times. Instead of at least two different um, pieces of art on this box, and technically a fourth time. <laughs> but she looks great, looks like she has um, two sets of hands, and oh, it's two fists and two open hands for the handguns. So it looks like, is it the same handgun as, as the Blackwood over there? Yep, definitely looks like it. And this definitely looks like uh, one very similar to the vest she was wearing in um, Black Widow was wearing in Avengers Infinity War. And don't forget, she also had blonde hair in Avengers Infinity War, so let's get her out. Let's take a look, and you know what? I almost forgot to read the write up. So, right back here, it says Yelena Belova, a product of the Red Room's ruthless training program. Yelena Belova is a fiery assassin. Absolutely incredible. Pop her on out of here. Ooh, I don't want to tear the box. Why is it not? There we go. Come on out. And jeez. Look at all this um, Build-A-Figure pieces. Wow. This looks like one shoulder. And I guess that's the back. So that's gonna go here. So, incredible. Let's see how tall he's gonna be. I guess not ridiculously tall, but definitely tall. Taller. Alright, and let's set these parts aside. Get to that later. Get this action figure on out. I don't know if she has her hair braided like that. Let's go ahead and get um get her guns out. Let's put them right here in the holster. Something that we didn't do with our last unboxing of the Black Suit Black Widow. Oh, it only has one. And these are knives. Okay. So let's take a look at that. Of course we have a set of hands right there. Let's the package aside for a second. Let's bring this on in so we can take a look. And so look at this um, face sculpt right here. It looks like we have kind of the same thing going on with the eyes on this one. How when you get really up close, it's just like a bunch of spray dots. And it almost appears to have um, detail when you zoom out but not let's see if i can get also this black speck off right here in a second okay i was able to carefully get it off with a knife there we are and then wow his head's a little looser than i would have thought and would like but it is staying whichever way i put it interesting so it actually does not have 
a joint. It's just on a ball. So it's on a ball joint. But she actually has an extremely long neck. So I don't know if I prefer that. I think uh, I like the one they did for Black Widow. So let's see. The shoulders have a lip here also, but these go more than a 90 degree angle out, or at least that one does. Or right at it, I guess. Let's see. And we can go further in the 90 degrees right here on the arm for the elbow. Oof, we're gonna need to support this. It works here too, but you really had to push it in. And these can move also, so be aware of that. Let's see, these wrists, the fist wrists do come in and out. And the wrists that are made for the gun probably go side to side. Yep. So, and then these right here, these stun wrist bracelets. They're not glued on. I love the paint job right here on this tactical vest. That looks absolutely great. Uh, not feeling it with this simple ball head joint. Yeah. Good ab crunching here and mobility. The shoulders do go all the way around. These don't necessarily click. And then the waist doesn't move, it moves right here. And um, the rib cage. Let's see, this is also not attached, but it is on there really well. The, the Black Widow symbol. And this is however attached to the leg here these um these holsters right here the holster and then man this is some soft plastic look at that um right here for these knives daggers and let's see again these legs don't come very far forward it starts hitting right there so it's probably probably almost the exact same mold as the black widow black suit let's see we have this leg actually comes in even further right here on this knee joint or this double knee joint so that's cool but that doesn't do us a whole lot of good a little unnecessary if the legs barely even move out there we go look forward she can't even sit up without leaning back look at that you'd have to ab crunch her a lot just to get her to sit up almost so I'm a little disappointed in that. Look at that. We have to at least have them sit up straight. Okay, let's take a look at the boots. Um, they pivot pretty well. We'll go forward and back. And so the sculpt is amazing. The paint is, I love it. I love the way the gloves look right here, even though there's a little bit of paint missing on the inside. Um, the face and the head sculpt and all that looks great but it's the neck and the way the paint is just sprayed on doesn't really strike me as as outstanding but um, it is cool to have an action figure of her move this up and you know her head having to stick out like that is not one of the finer points. So, the fact that it, it just pops out so much um, takes away from some of the impact. But I'm sure we can find a, a good pose. That ought to work. Maybe we should put two guns in her hands also. Let's see. That still looks great. Let's see what happens when we put it right next to Black Widow. So, that's pretty awesome actually. I'm digging it. Alright, we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see who we got next. And next we actually have Red Guardian. And Red Guardian looks outstanding. Looks 
absolutely incredible and I think that's probably the size of the shield that Taskmaster is supposed to have but again haven't seen the movie yet it's only April the movies not supposed to be coming out till November now it's got moved from May and here's the left arm of Crimson Dynamo and look at this beautiful artwork let me zoom out real quick I wish we had an alternate head that had that because that helmet looks great love the way that looks same picture a mirror image right here and unfortunately the same picture a third time and then a fourth time because it'd be nice to have you know an alternate um, artwork back here but let's take a look and so it says Red Guardian Alexei Shostakov is a super soldier and spy who has lived a lifetime of triumph during the Cold War and wow look at that and you know what just like we kind of talked about Taskmaster check this out we had this bad boy straight up cold chilling and look at the difference from this simple comic book Red Guardian his paint job um, the colors and everything comic book style versus the movie one which actually looks so much more grounded in reality just looks just takes it to another level doesn't it look at that so we'll compare those in another video but definitely wanted to show you that so let's get them on out and so right off the bat I wish it did have um, alternate head so we can have one with the helmet but alas it was not to be this epic shield so remember there was a time to say so get closer look at this arm right here for Crimson Dynamo wow look how cool that looks I don't know if this one's supposed to be broken like that. Not sure. Maybe so, but it looks great. Let's set that aside. And as I mentioned before, and we'll put this package from Red Guardian away. Set that aside. Um, this shield has this so we can perhaps Put back here look at that so we can spin it and get it however we need to so that looks outstanding okay so let's zoom in since there are no other accessories in the shield this face sculpt looks absolutely outstanding now as I look a little closer that's unfortunate it looks a little rushed and looks like there's a brown that got in that line right there I wonder if that can be scraped out because that part looks a little rushed. From right here, it looks incredible. And then you turn it there and you're like, whoa, I got a little extra. And, or maybe it's, I can't tell if it's missing paint or um, too much paint because it looks like too much, but then it's like, if it was like that, well, maybe it's just not enough and didn't make it all the way to the end. Uh, nonetheless, the hair looks pretty cool. The paint again does look a little rushed right here. It's a little touch of gray. Overall, you can definitely tell that's him. I love the texture on the suit. I love how there's a little bit of wear and tear look on there, which I'm assuming is supposed to be um, on purpose. I love the, this tactical belt, and this one is also free floating. Let's pull this um, shield off. Wow, all of a sudden now I can't get the shield out. Look at this incredible detail right here. So this also can go right here on the wrist or go in the hand. Because as I mentioned before, like with Taskmaster, this can be tossed right there. Or we can put this on the wrist. So let's see. The arms go around. They kind of like click as they go around. The arms go beyond 90 degree angles. And this is some smooth movement articulation right there. We have double joints at the elbows, but his arms are big, so it only comes into about a 90 degree angle. Look at that. Still outstanding. You can turn right here on this part of the bicep, and it's nice and thick. There we go. The wrists go back and forth, so I'm digging that. I prefer that than than I guess this little up and down right here. But um, you know, great so far. Let's see what sort of ab crunch we have. A ridiculously um, back and forth um, ab crunch ability turns well right here at the waist and then look 
this die actually looks like it moves better than our Black Widow ones. Comes a little f further than those. Turns to the high part of the thigh. And same thing on both. And then there's double joints right here at the knee. Look at that. Comes uh, bends to about that much. Now let's see. It moves in the high part of the shin. I'm not a big fan of that. Because I'd rather that stay put because we can't move our shins that way. So it looks unnatural if it gets out of sorts like there. See? And uh, it looks like the knee is dislocated if we move that. So um, I'd rather move it up here only. But nonetheless, here we are. It moves right here. Take a look at that. The boots look awesome. These straps right here, I'm assuming those are just supposed to be the same color. But um, overall, this suit looks absolutely great. Look at the texture. This red guardian, I'm glad we have him. And let's see, what kind of pose do we want on him? And the, the boxes. Just have them standing strong like this, but um, what about the shield? Like, uh, and he doesn't even have two fists come in that box, so let's see. Let's try something. All right. A simple but effective stance, like a defensive stance. Look at that. The shield down, and that looks absolutely great. Look at that. So let's set him right back on over here. What is this? Spy friends. I think that looks great. Look at that. Let's bring him back forward just a smidge. That looks absolutely incredible. Take a look at that. All right. Great. So, since he didn't have a lot of accessories, um, that's off our Red Guardian, but let's go ahead and move on. Let's see who we've got next. Alright, and next in our Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure set for the Black Widow movie, we have this Winter Soldier. This is the comic book version, and it looks like we have the same art four times again, which it's cool artwork, but I just wish we had a couple, like on the Black Widow one. This one comes with the head of Crimson Dynamo, comes with two guns, and it comes with Bucky right here, right? Sergeant Barnes. So, um, let's take a look. And it looks absolutely outstanding from here. Let's see what it says right here. The Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is a fierce combatant and an asset in battle, no matter which team he fights for. Which is also unfortunate because you want him to fight for the good guys. But um, it's awesome to have him. Comic book version now. And before I pull him out, let me show you something. You're going to like this. Here are two of the three other Winter Soldier action figures we have. Of course, this is from the second Captain America movie. And then we have this one, which is from Civil War. And this one we got as a steal, practically, from um, Walmart. It's a Walmart exclusive. And then, which I'll have to go and find, we also have the uh, one from Avengers Infinity War, which was a, um, a two-pack, which came with Falcon. But let's get back to this one right here, because we'll later on do a comparison video. Look how cool this is back here. This has all these different Marvel sig uh, symbols right here. We have Captain America, Thor. So we have Black Panther, we have Nova, we have Spider-Man, we have Avengers, Ant-Man, uh, Iron Man, so on and so forth, Captain Marvel. That looks great. Okay, so let's get the head out, Crimson Dynamo. This definitely looks like the Mark II of the Crimson Dynamo um, suit. Look at that. Okay, let's get Bucky out. Let's get his... Wow, this is awfully soft plastic, but let's get his, his weapons out. Take a look at that, that one handgun. And what is this? It's like a salt rifle right here. Closer again. Let's take a look. Wow. 
There's this, of course, his metal arm. Look how soft this plastic is so it doesn't break off, but then again, it'll probably be ripped off, so be careful with that. Let's zoom in, and it's more of a mask here than the black, kind of like war paint makeup he had in the movie. We have hints of brown in the hair, and we have what appears to be some, uh, looks like they've tried it again with a single ball joint on the head. Interesting. On the neck. And I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of that. It looks like it's working out pretty decent here because the hair's down, it kind of covers it up. But I didn't like it on the Yelena figure, so can't blame him for trying something new though. Alright, so this is not attached, but it is supposed to remain permanently on there. And the only way to remove it would be to remove the arms. Let's see what sort of articulation we have here. This clicks as it goes around moves in the high part of the bicep. So we have double joints right here on the elbow. Moves in pretty well. Let's see this watch, cool. <laughs> that can be turned on its own. Let's see, this wrist, good. It moves back and forth instead of um, kind of that up and down side to side. So it moves this way. This finger is pretty soft, look at that. Little tactical pouches right here, bags. Um, this clicks also, looks very similar, oh no, this arm looks huge compared to this one, look at this. And then uh, we got double joints right here on the elbows, comes in right here to almost a 45 degree angle. I'm digging that this wrist goes back and forth like this also and around. That looks good, we'll put the gun in there in a minute. So his um, belt does move around freely on its own. It's got great detail and great colors there. This does not come out. None of these weapons do. These grenades, these uh, magazines, this handle for this blade is really small. Look at that. Some more magazines. This is um, floats right here. Let's see. We got some really wow heavy duty knee joints. Look at how heavy duty that is. Okay, it turns right here in the high part of the thigh. See. Same thing on this leg, it's kind of just a mirror image. We got really great baggy pant detail right here, look at that. Very nice, the boots, some really well done boots as far as the detail on them. And then they do pivot well, so that looks great. So this Bucky action figure looks awesome. And let's see, which gun do we want where? We can put that one there. We can put this one here. Oof, and this is some soft plastic. We'll need to open up this hand momentarily. Just slide that right on in there. And we'll put his trigger finger in there. And you know what? How do we want to pose this Bucky right here? Uh, let's take a look. So let me see. Give me a second, let me see. All right, so one thing we can actually do is have him hold the gun with both hands. That looks outstanding. I certainly think so, look at that. Can, depends how we want him to Look at that. You can use his ab crunch to look even more fierce. Do we want to do that? Or do we want to have him hold both guns? So let's take a look at that. Okay, and I actually think I like this even better. Just an imposing figure. Look. separate his legs a little bit so that he's kind of taking a step forward kind of aggressively and this Bucky looks absolutely outstanding look at that so I'm gonna bring him right on over here have him just towering over basically everybody else so everybody's like in defensive mode and he's kind of like on the offensive there we go he's gonna start leaning forward hopefully not there we are let me just fix his feet real quick 
There we go. Hey, let's work the second as well. This is going forward slightly. There we go. That looks absolutely outstanding. Okay, great. Need to warm for Red Guardian crouching down. You know, he could probably be as tall as him. All right, so let's move on. What do you say? All right, so in this set, there's still two more before the Build-A-Figure. And let's see who's left. We still have Marvel's Crossbones. And of course, this is the comic book Crossbones. And look, he's got a, two sets of weapons here. Um, those are his only accessories. And then we have this um, leg for Crimson Dynamo. Actually, this it's a hand, his arm. Let's take a look at the artwork right here. Looks like the exact same artwork four times. They could have at least given us one, um, one different pose or something. But anyway, here we are. He looks pretty cool. He does not have that same neck clearly as two of the other action figures. But um, let's take a look at what it says on the back and let's get him out. So it says, Marvel's Crossbones. Crossbones makes it his mission to take out Captain America no matter the loss of life at stake. Which is something that we definitely saw in Civil War because he was ready to self-destruct just to take out Cap. Which is interesting because at the beginning of Captain America Winter Soldier, he's definitely got like, definitely is in awe of him and thinks he's so amazing. By the end of the movie, he can't stand him. But um, take a look at this. This looks absolutely outstanding. This is our Crimson Dynamo hand. We'll put our uh, arm over the side. And get this crossbones out. And be careful with this, because look, you don't want this to rip out. So be careful when you're taking that out, push it out carefully. And you know what? These almost look like what it was, Yon Rogs um, blasters, except they're not green, they're white, gray. So let's use these instead. Match. Kind of like that little idea that they match. We'll set that aside. And let's take a closer look. And take a look at that. It's got a kind of a cool sculpt. It looks like I got some plastic on my finger. And this one, he's definitely going to be able to have great head articulation. Look at that. He's got that skull mask, and he can pivot his head a little bit. His arms. Nice. Chunky around, look at that. Wow, this one actually goes pretty far back. They're clicking as they move along. He's got the crossbones right here on his chest. In case there's any questions of him being crossbones. Um, oops, wow. Got a little overzealous there. And then um, he's definitely got the strong triceps right there. His um, double joints for his elbows bring his arms pretty good in. Let's see, and let's see, do his hands, oh, they again do that thing where it goes this way and barely even moves. Let's see, same thing with this one, they'll go, come this way and that way and they barely even moves that way. These right here on his wrists, they're not permanently glued or anything. And then his belt right here is completely attached right here and it's got kind of a cool detail right here. It's slightly different. Um, different color paint right here for the buckle um, but it still kind of floats right there got a strong ab crunch look at that and then moves right here at the waist let's see if the legs go up about that far they move on the high part of the thigh we got double joints right here in the knees but they only come into about a 90 degree angle um, it does move on the high part of the shin on these um, big boots and very glossy boots and the um, ankle has got good mobility look at that Let's see what it says here it says 2020 Hasbro so it's kind of cool he's huge and it's kind of cool how this is blowing I don't know if I always want it looking like that but you know Still kind of cool. Let's give him his 
weapons right here. This is. Take a look at this. We have two of them. Unfortunately, it's kind of pushing down, so we're gonna have to. There we go. Drop that on in there. We have to wedge that open by pulling this out. And this one may not be strong enough to do it with this, but just this we may need out. There we go. I twisted it in there. Now I'm having to twist it back. There we go. Where's the other one? So let's jam this thumb open. Well, if I'm just gonna use this, I guess I can put this here and then roll it out like this. Look at that. It's one way. It's not gonna be the quickest, but look at that. And then twist it around like that. So that little trick. <laughs> Actually wasn't 100% sure it would work, but it did work. And there we are. Look at that. So what do you think? Um, so he looks pretty cool. Let me bring this a little higher. Um, he's definitely tall. He's definitely a big guy. And he definitely wants revenge out on Captain America. But, you know, not a huge, huge fan of how he looks, but definitely cool to add him to our collection. So, let's see. Let's bring his ab crunch. like that. Let's turn on this one. Let's see. How do we want him standing? Alright, let me see. Let me play with a couple of poses. Give me a second. I guess I could try and do this again like the other ones, but don't know if it'll work. Let's see. All right, so I ended up settling with something simple. Again, just like a menacing, strong power pose. And I couldn't figure out why he looked so odd at first. But it's because his belt was so high up. And I was like, man, he looks so odd. So when I push that down, <laughs> he looks better in proportion. But again, um, he does have like long legs and a, a short, wide torso. And kind of like an arched back. So. Um, he doesn't look great in every pose because of, you know, he's got odd proportions. So let's put these these gray Jan Rog guns right here, actually in these holsters, they actually fit very well. Look at that. Let me see, it goes right here. You can't fit the other ones because they're too big. Let's just take them out with a bunch of guns. Look at that. And there we are. We'll have him just kind of flexing with his gun across, his double barrel gun across his chest. So, and the other one down. So that'll work out great. Look at that. It's definitely tall. There we are. Look at that. That looks awesome. There we are. And we have one more action fig in this Build-A-Figure set. So let's move on. Let's see what we got. We have today, last but not least, in this Build-A-Figure set at least, because then there's still the other two after the Build-A-Figure. This is Marvel's Spy Master. And let me just say, um, I'm not excited that this looks appears to be like the Blizzard body sculpt even has the shins that move there and I don't know and then again he's got the same gun we just talked about right here with crossbones that Jan Rog looking one it's like that laser but um, nonetheless well, let's get him open we have not even mirror image the same picture right here on the side and the same picture on the back so again we have the same picture four times could have at least given us a different um, artwork there 
And let's see what it says, Marvel Spy Master. An undercover operative skilled in sabotage. Spy Master possesses superb fighting capabilities. Hop them on out. Let's get them open. And uh, unfortunately not one of my favorite body sculpts. And single accessory and not even a great one. So here we are. We have this other leg for our Crimson Dynamo, and that will complete our set. Bust him on out of here. And let's get that gun, that little pea shooter on out of there. Let's see. What's going on here? Let's set that aside. And let's zoom on in here. So, Spy Master. There's his symbol right here. So we even got some paint bleeding. And right here, looks a little rushed. Not even a clean line. Almost looks like a crayon line. Uh, as far as the head, the paint job on the head, and the symbol right there, looks okay. There's a scratch right here, unfortunately. Um, let's see. For head articulation and movement, we definitely got strong mobility there. We can turn it, we can pivot a little bit all the way down, all the way back. That's great. We got this really strong ab crunch. Interesting, that gap. All the way forward, look at that. Arms move all the way around. Check that out. Um, they do move beyond 90 degree angle out. Moving a high part of the bicep. The uh, elbow does move into almost a 45 degree angle, it would appear. And then just about um, a mirror image on those. The wrists do go back and forth. I prepare, I prefer it like that. We can put the gun in either one of the hands. We do have a holster right here, this lemon yellow holster. We have this gun, which I told you is, appears to be uh, the same gun, but a different flavor. Look at that. We have gray, uh, which is, I guess, mint and uh, cherry flavor. <laughs> <laughs> now let's put that back right here on crossbones and just to to be honest this is my least favorite of all the molds of guns so that can go right here in his holster which we'll take it out in a minute so we have these hands are really wide open to hold guns um so right here at the waist got a ridiculously strong ab crunch this is a floating uh utility belt. You know, even has an S right here, but it's only red on the front and kind of bleeds over to the top and the bottom. We have a little bit of paint bleed right here. And then we have this little bit of utility and tactical but um, belt, but it's not a whole lot to it. It's not a strong mold and um, it's even kind of pushing out right there. Let's see. Um, the legs do come pretty well forward. Uh, they do bend pretty well at the knees right here. That. They bend a whole lot better, look at that, than the, uh, our Black Widow ones in the Alina. The legs do come out straight. Um, it actually feels a little looser now. Um, it does move right here, as I mentioned. The high part of the thigh, I'm sorry, of the shin. We do point and flex pretty well right here on the ankles. And you know, unfortunately, uh, this is not the most amazing um, action figure. We do have multiple symbols right here. And let's get his gun out. Let's see how well it fits in his hand. Looks like it fits well. And there we are. So let me see something. Let me show you something. All right, so I wanted to show you that um, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same sculpt, but it definitely looks very similar to um, this Human Torch. With this Human Torch, actually, they did you know a pretty decent job. Um, there are some uh, obviously some striking similarities. Unfortunately, this look. I'm not saying that that's going to happen to uh, this one, 
But, um, yeah, it didn't help that I was like, you know what, they did a pretty good job with this because it had all these cool little flares. I like the, the way this, um, you could see through him and the texture and the head sculpt. Like, this is probably the best I've ever seen with this body sculpt, but it didn't help that it fell apart. So, um, and this one looks a little uninspired to begin with. At least that one had really cool, like, the plastic happening going on. So, all right, let's get him in a pose and let's move on to Crimson Dynamo. What do you say? So, what's the best pose I can get out of this blue and yellow figure? Let's see. Give me a second. All right, so we're just having, like, with a quick little on-the-go stance. Set him up over here. Next to crossbones and we'll call it a day for him. Look at that. Okay, cool, look at that. So far, these four obviously are my favorite. They look amazing for the movie. And then we start to drop off one by one here. So it's like pretty good. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on to our absolute last action figure from this Builder Figure set. And then who knows, the last two after that, the special exclusives. So what do you say to that? All right. Moving on to Crimson Dynamo. Part you've all been waiting for. His legs right here. Dish. Dish. Let's see what this actually looks like right here. Look at that. that looks pretty cool, actually. Look at that. So, yeah. Not bad. Okay, so let's get them built. Let's just take a quick glance. Make sure we're not missing anything. Those go on the right shoulder, and then everything else pretty much self explanatory except it doesn't show the back. Okay, so Crimson Dynamo. What do you say we pop the head on first? And look at that neck pivoting right there. Let's get closer in here. That looks great. Okay, let's pop this. Are you sure this leg goes here? Nope, it goes here. Oof. Oof, did a kiss. Was it on? <laughs> and the only reason why I knew it was that leg, which I had it backwards, is because it angles up that way. Wow, that was... I was gonna say, wow, that was easier than I thought. Popped right off. Look at that. There we go. Oh, man. It's not staying on. Should be, and it's just popping right off. There we go. Pop this right on in here. Look at that. There we go. This one in here. Very cool. This is actually awesome. I was afraid it might kind of look like the one that was the Cree Century or whatever. This looks like it just pops on right here and right here. And this. We'll go right here and right here also. Very cool. And then this, I guess, just pops on right here. Just under that, I guess. There we go. Look at that. Incredible. Let's stand back. can see how big he really is. Look at that. All right, looks pretty awesome. And I wanna show you, um, if you're not familiar, just lift it up right here. And if you'll take a look to see which um, person was actually in this suit, I would guess it would be this one obviously, because look how incredibly close this looks. For this Crimson Dynamo. And then if you read on, obviously this was kind of like the second version made by um, um, 
That was originally made from Anton Vanko's suit, um, but um, I believe was never able to actually use it. But either way, um, it looks pretty outstanding. Look at this. I love the detail. There's a lot of love went into this figure. We can move right here the neck. We can also move it right here at the head, the base of the neck, and it looks absolutely menacing and looks wonderful. I love that um, the arms move pretty well. This can actually just pop out if you'd like it to. And it still moves up and down a little bit. Can move right here in the elbow. Does not quite come into a 90 degree angle, but still, this definitely rotates in and out. Look at that. This beautiful detail on this fist. This beautiful detail on this hand. This does the same here. It's nice, smooth, fluid motions. And man, that looks so great. Look at the detail on the back of the suit. He um, turns right here where the rib cage would be. And then ab crunches really well. Um, the legs, now the legs might pop off if you move them too much at the hip where they popped on, but we have double joints right here. Look at this great mold right here. Look at that. Turns right here where the hip joint is. Well, no. Um, on this side, here's the hip joint here. Let's see how far forward the legs actually come. Ooh, pretty far forward, but um, as I mentioned before, this doesn't go super far in, so this might still pop out. Heavy duty knees, the boots, the feet do pivot well and they turn, but obviously he doesn't need to have any crazy um, posability like Spider Man or anything, so that's something that just keep in mind. But he is pretty big. Let me see, who can I compare him to? Well, here's what I'll compare him to I was afraid he was going to look like Cree Sentry. So Cree Sentry actually is taller than I thought he's going to be, but. Cree Sentry looks kind of off and goofy. Look at that. Because I don't know, his torso is kind of like off and huge shoulders and big um, um, Reese's Buttercup hat or whatever. <laughs> but look how great this looks and how this one just doesn't cut it. But either way, there's a size and then to put him next to like Check out Molten Man. Let me put Molten Man next to him. You'll see that. Set that aside, or let's put him on this side. And that'll tell you how big our Molten Man figure was. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So, three builded figures right here, all under one roof. Okay, great. So that was a lot of fun. And. What do you say, guys? We still have two more action figures that are Black Widow related. Of course, one from the movie and one from the comic books. Okay, so let's set these aside. Let's put this aside right here. And let's get um, everything organized really well. Let's take a look. All right, friends, so what do you think of these? They look absolutely incredible. These are, of course, the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure set from the Black Widow movie. We have four from the actual movie. We have three from the comic books, and then one Build-A-Figure that is from the comic books, of course, and we're gonna now move on to this Black Widow Deadly Origin, this exclusive from Target here, and looks absolutely incredible. Look at this beautiful artwork right here. And this is the white suit, um, Black Widow, which sounds a little weird to say, but anyway, looks absolutely gorgeous. And so then we're going to move on to this white suit, Black Widow right here from the movie, this deluxe set. So let's see what the back says. It says, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff must save everyone she ever loved before her own past kills them. Wow. All right. Let's get this open. It looks absolutely wonderful. And let's see what sort of accessories we have. Man, that is a huge gun. All right. Let's get this open. There we are. Let's pop this gun out. There, look at this beautiful 
Black Widow um, emblem right here. Let's see how cool she is. And look at these weapons right here. Which ones are able to hold those little blasts? Is it all of them? Wow, cool. There's a couple things I didn't even notice. Look, like there is a like smoking gun effect. Which is very subtle. Look at this. So I don't want to lose those, but let's take them out. Let's see what they look like. So that's actually really cool. Let's take these weapons out right here. Uh oh, already lost one. How did I know that was gonna happen? Let's see. What is it? Uh, here we are. Okay, so let me not lose anything else. Looks like they all three have holes so we can put there. Let's take a look at what this smoking gun effect would look like. That's really cool. And I guess these both look this. No, they look slightly different. Look at that. That looks really cool. And we can also have this. Look at that. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at our Natasha. And so we have. Um, Paint looks a little rushed, but still, it's a nice head sculpt. The hair, I think, could be a little better. I don't like the way it's just flying over here like limp arms. But um, let's see, the head was pretty well, at least side to side and around. So that's good. This is a soft plastic right here that doesn't interfere. You can ab crunch pretty well right here about the rib cage. Let's see, it's almost like a pearl white. I'm sure you can notice that. Arms do move pretty far back, so that's awesome. Look at that. And then move pretty far forward. Then we have a single joint right at the elbow that does turn. Like that. And then the wrists, they do this deal right here, which I'm not super fond of, but at least they turn. This one does go back and forth the way I do like, but it is angled in a way that I'm not super excited about. Here is this um, cool Black Widow belt. I wish it was attached and didn't just float freely, but I'm sure we could glue that if we wanted to. Okay, the legs move decent forward. And we have double joints right here at the knees. So we can get a pretty good, um, we can still get pretty good poses right here. If we wanted to like holding that rifle or whatever. And then, um, oh, if I can even get this foot to move, got it to move. There we go. Got some good point and flex mobility, and then it um, pivots. So that's cool. You can have her like sliding in. So let's see what that would look like. Put this gun right here in her hand, and then it's gonna be smoking. Now we're holding this one. And instead of this one smoking, we can put it, okay, let's put it right there in. Uh, And a trigger finger, we can put these little bad boys. Look at that. And that looks super cool. Yes! I'm sure we could also find a way to. Look at that. Very nice. Could also have her firing both guns, I'm sure. But that's really cool. And then, man, look at this huge rifle. I guess we can kind of uh, put it over this and over this. Ah, oh, I guess I could have just done that from the get go. We'll go around this. 
Oops. That's what I get for getting a little too overzealous. Let me put this back on. Give me a second. Okay, cool. Let me put it back on. Actually, something funny happened when I put this on here. Um, I put it on and it just didn't suit her to have this huge gun around her neck, kind of restricting her fighting ability. So I was like, you know what? Nah. Leave it off. So, I think I just prefer that. So yeah, you know what? Pretty cool. Now, something that was a little odd was, um, look at this, is that <laughs> her neck and ch uh, chest skin like protrudes from here. So I'm like, that's not cool. It looks like it's layered on top. It looks kind of awkward. Now at first glance, you don't even notice it, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. So that's a little odd. I've never seen one like that. So that's a little unfortunate, but otherwise the rest looks pretty cool. So let's see if I, oops, a little crazy there. And so, Anyway, let's get her one good pose and set her up. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Something simple and effective. Let's see if we can put her. Oop. Can get her to stand. Let me see if I can get her to stand. Here we are. Oh, why am I having so much trouble with this figure? <laughs> it's just not going to work out, is it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to put it. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright. So, that looks pretty cool. And we'll just have her there. And that'll be that for now. <laughs> no, I got so excited I finally got her there that I started dropping the camera. All right, so what do you think? Time to move on to the last figure in this set. is Black Widow, Marvel Legends, deluxe set. And what do you say we do it? Okay. So next and actually last but not least from all of these incredible Marvel Legends from the Black Widow set and build a figure for Crimson Dynamo, we have this Target exclusive Marvel's Black Widow, of course Scarlett Johansson from the Black Widow movie. This is the white suit Black Widow Marvel Legend where here's the black suit and then here's the comic book white suit. And let's get her open. Look at this beautiful package right there. Look how great that looks. And compare that to, let's see, let's get this. Look at that. Beautiful artwork. Definitely goes hand in hand with that. Look at all these little Black Widow symbols kind of hidden right there. And beautiful artwork. Mirror image on the side. Looks just like her. Look at that. Looks great. And then this cool pose right here that's a little bit of an awkward leg but <laughs> the rest looks absolutely great and then the back here it says black widow natasha romanoff reunites with a group of spies from her past to stop a lethal force and so we're thinking that lethal force of course is taskmaster and i wonder if there's even more than that but look this one even comes with a deluxe stand and explosion so let's get this on open Super excited about this. Great. Oop. All right. Pop around out. Look how awesome that looks. It matches all the rest of the action figures that we've done so far. And, wow, look. Here's the stand by itself. That in a moment. There's three pieces. 
right, four pieces. Three in the stand, the base. Awesome explosion. So let's get her out. She's the part that really matters. Everything else is accessories. And let's get up close and personal. Oop. Again, getting overzealous. And look, it's got a beautiful head sculpt right here. Got a little bit of discoloration here, I'm sure we can get off. Look at that. I like the hair sculpt. Very similar to the previous one, except the hair doesn't look as red, it looks a little more brown. And let's see. Ooh, that was kind of weird. Look at that. Um, we don't have much head articulation because this hair kind of blocks that. Alright, we move right here for an ab crunch right here about the rib cage. The arms go about that far in. This one's a little more restricted. I don't know why, if they look about the same. So, not sure why this one goes in a little bit more than this one, but either way. Um, also doesn't come in as much. So we have a single joint right here at the elbow that brings us in further than 90 degrees. This um, right here around her wrist, these little stun guns right here in her wrist. They do move um, freely. Her wrist moves back and forth, which is kind of cool. Um, these are just closed fists, and we have two other sets of hands, which we're about to show you. Um, this right here, her belt does float freely, but it is attached and intended to be here permanently. Um, we do have holsters, two different, uh, one for each leg. The leg, again, doesn't come all the way 90 degree angle, so she can't fully even sit up straight which is unfortunate but that is consistent with the other two figures in the set and um, if you'll go back and check those out and here we are we got good articulation in the knees we have great articulation here in the ankles look at that it pivots well so that's good good point and flex um, Got great detail in the suit here. Look at that. Like the sculpt, a little bit of scuffing there. That's all right. And then let's take a look at these other accessories. Ooh, I didn't mean to knock down our Taskmaster. That's all right. Look at these blasts. Ooh, these are attached right here. Look at that. Okay. This right here. Looks so cool. I love these little explosion blasts right here. Get a small one. And then we have these other sets of hands right here. Look at this. Let's see what the difference is. I guess this one doesn't have. These two right here don't have trigger fingers, and these two do. And so we have these guns, we have these little like stun gun blue explosions right here and we have these hand to hand weapons right here so what do you say let's take a look at the box again and see what's recommended here that looks cool but I think let's use the guns or let's at least put the guns in the holsters right so these out. And I'll show you that everything up close. So these are cool, but I'll pass this time. You can use the guns. That's cool. There's two of them. Let's use these little shock bracelets right here. Let's see if I can get these out. Oh, you have to take the hand off. To be able to put these around the wrist. And let's get these two out. Cover the trigger finger. 
And let's put her fist. Well, I guess let's, let's see both. I'm sure you want to see that. So first of all, the fists. Let's set this aside. You're going to want to see this coming out. Pop that on right there. Look at that. Everything about that. It's cool, doesn't it? So she's like... Let's zoom in on that right there. Look at that. Oop! Not what I meant to do. There we go, look at that. That looks really cool. But, let's take that off. Let's put this on. Let's take this off. Put this on. Let's put a little handgun in right here. Put this little handgun in right here. There we go. Again, with this little pivoting wrist that goes like this, but which is unfortunate because it looks a little unnatural to have, have her have to move her hand like that, but anyway. Let's move this out. Oh, I forgot this one with the shoulder that doesn't move out the way we want it to. Unfortunately. We have to move this one out. There we go. And that looks pretty cool. Let's see what we can do with this base here. We got a couple of pegs so that we can put her feet. Looks like we can place this explosion just about anywhere. This looks like we'll put it right here. And this can be just about anywhere. But again, let's get the back. Let's see what's recommended here. Look at this. Go ahead and put this here. And we can have it attach with this little clamp. And we have the option of doing this. And placing that there. It goes up and down there. Okay, that makes sense. And then that pivots. Cool. And then of course we can just place these here. Doosh. Great. So we can just put this here. This opens like this. And it is spring loaded. So that's cool. And put this right on in here. So that'll snap into place. And I guess we can put this wherever we want it. this and it kind of snaps and place this here and here and as far as this goes let's see that can go right there this can go right here and we do have this right here So, you can have these going in all sorts of directions, actually. Look at that. That's really cool, actually. We can bring this up, like so. And I guess this can turn. And we can angle this. That's really outstanding. We 
can even turn that. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Bring it down like this. Wow, that looks great. Maybe we should do that. I'm gonna put this other stuff back. Now I'm gonna set this up to look like really cool fighting against um, Taskmaster here. So let me put these hands away. Put this in here. There we go, take that up. And I don't want to lose any part of this. Put these in here. Make sure we don't lose that. And let's do a final action sequence. What do you say? All right, and here we go. We have a really cool action scene right here where Black Widow is kind of like flying through the air, jumping, and of course we have another Black Widow over here. <laughs> and then our other figure is kind of waiting to jump in on the action. So, looks pretty cool. I love it, I think it looks absolutely great. What do you guys think? So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below, hit the notification bell next to it so you can notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. And yeah, let us know where in the world you're watching from. What do you think of these incredible action figures? Aren't they amazing? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to complete the set. So if you have not seen the other ones, well, let me tell you, go back and check them out. So guys, thanks again. We'll see you soon. Check out our channel page. We have more great videos like this. Thanks again for watching. Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.